All right, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to our Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness spoiler cast. Uh, I know me and Eris did one that I've dropped the weekend of Doctor Strange because reasons on video, but I figured, hey, might as well give people an audio version of it because that worked out well last time, so might as well. But uh, join me today, boy Charlie, he's back. What's going on? How's it going? going on? <laughs> Uh, hopefully Joe will be popping in on this uh, if he's not busy. Hopefully, yeah, everything's fine. Right. But uh, yeah, we're here to talk about uh, you know Wanda going nuts and heel turning on everybody off rip and everybody trying to cop pleas for her. So um, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that has been a weekend of everybody copping pleas for this chick, and I'm like, why, why are we copping pleas for her? Why are we doing this? Churin ain't. Fucking real. <laughs> they not fucking real. Fictional characters. <laughs> it's like, what are like everybody like, oh, she's a mother. And I was like, a mother of what? <laughs> like everybody's like, Wanda, they're fake. <laughs> they're real to me, damn it. <laughs> they pretend children, yo. Like <laughs> it's like, and and you know what? <laughs> But here's the thing, right? I'm, I'm, you know what? I'm, I'm, a, I'm a shoot. Let's, I'm a sh- let's, let's, let's move on to bed. Let's move on to bed. Let's move on to bed real quick. All right. What did you think of the movie overall? I liked it. I don't think it's as bad. Well, I don't think it's as bad as or as you know less than as people say it is, right? Yeah. Um, it's it it is a Sam Raimi movie, like him in in his like actual element. Mm-hmm. It, it 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 is a it is a Sam Raimi, Raimi movie. It, it's a good one. Um, I, I thought it was cool. Like I thought it was cool. You know, I thought it was a good seven. To me, it was a seven out of ten. Um, excuse me. Uh, visually, I like I like the effects. I really loved uh, America Chavez's powers. How they were displayed. Mm-hmm. I, I like that. Um, I like the whole like. Hey, this is the Illuminati, and we're gonna get rid of them. <laughs> like, and and um, but then I but I also liked how they gave uh, old boy from the Inhumans a second shot at as Black Bolt, and then he was in costume. The costume looked cool. His 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 use of powers looked looked good in this one as opposed to Inhumans, but factor in budget. Yeah. Uh, lot, so much you can do. Um, I didn't have a problem with. I didn't have a problem like everybody else did with Professor X in that big ass yellow chair because it goes to show that that dumbass yellow chair does not <laughs> translate well <laughs> in live action. <laughs> it looks ridiculous. Should have been smaller, but yeah, you're right. <laughs> but but also, I, it was it was cool here in the, the little piece of the theme, you mm-hmm. know. Um. But it, you know what? It made me, it made me uh, look forward to other Marvel projects in that element. Yeah. All right. So uh, Joe is here. How's it going, sir? I'm good. How are you guys? Good. good. Uh, you? So, uh, yeah, yeah. How you been? I know it's it's been a minute. I'm all right. I know I got fucked out of the Batman one. <laughs> <laughs> that was like you know it was funny. That was that was that was an executive decision for us. It was like no, we gotta make that shit three BG. Like we we had to like joke on that one because D had watched it opening weekend. That was like the first time ever he actually saw a movie opening weekend, and that like two weeks later. I don't so know. He, like, he goes, like he waits like a month. Yeah, I mean, dude, kids and work. He's been like crazy busy, so it was like the first time ever he didn't have kids for the weekend, and was like, oh shit, I can see the Batman now. Saw it the weekend. He's like, all right, we gotta talk about. It. I was like, all right. <laughs> so um what did you think of dr strange sir so i just saw it last night for the first time oh wow um, oh, it's yeah. the same as i did same as i did <laughs> yeah man, when i was when i was younger i used to opening night i would stand in line and then when you started reserving your seats it was always opening night and mm-hmm. like now i don't really give a shit now i'm kind of <laughs> like we're, you know, old, we're, old, we're old, Joe. I told the guys, I was like, if we weren't podcast, I'd be in the same boat as you. I was like, yeah, I catch it Tuesday or Monday, whatever. It's- yeah, yo, yo, and, and did you catch it in the afternoon? We saw no, it. I, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry, I don't know who you're talking to. Sorry. Oh, Joe, my fault. Yeah, yeah, Joe, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did my you bad. catch it in the afternoon? 
Yeah, so there's a theater. The only like I live in a town called Rancho Santa Margarita. It's kind of a small town, right? Mm-hmm. And it's like tucked away. So the closest theater to us is like two minutes away, but it's one of those theaters where like you sit and you eat in your seat. So the tickets are like normally thirty five dollars each. Woo! Right. And like we've paid full price to go see certain movies and shit. But like on Tuesdays, it's like half off. So with most movies, I just wait till Tuesday to watch it. Because if you pay full price and you get food, you walk out of there for a hundred bucks easy. Jeez. That's so nice. I know, but it's it's fucking nice, man. But like, oh no, no, like, we got we got them around DC area. It's like a couple of them DC area. So I to, look, I've been in one. I, the last time I went to one was way back, Winter Soldier. That's the only theater we have. Like the the other, and like once you sat in seats like that and shit, I'm like, fuck those those janky ass like old school ones, you know? Like, dude, I'm <laughs> dude, I'm 40, man. My back can't handle that shit anymore. Oh, we're so. in sta- we're in stadium seats now. I can't even go back to the old school movie theater. Oh, it's, now. It's, it's it's recliner seats, man. Yeah, it's, it's, recliner. Recliner. <laughs> it's recliner seats, or or I'm not going. <laughs> so I saw it last night at five, and we okay. got out like right before seven thirty, and. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, like my girlfriend, she's a, I mean, she's seen all the Marvel movies. Like during the pandemic, we watched every single one. Mm-hmm. So she's, and then we watched all the shows. The only one that she hasn't seen is What If. She doesn't really like animation for whatever reason. Uh, but she really liked WandaVision. So I was telling her, like, hey, this is kind of picking up a WandaVision left off, blah, blah, blah. Um, I liked the movie. I didn't like it as much as the first one. You're like was- one of like five people I heard say that. I think the first Doctor Strange is way fucking better, way better. I kind of get that. I think that's. The, I think the one of the biggest things that came out of this weekend. I think a lot of folks like. I think we're of the age where we know Sam Raimi's like filmography front to back from like even back during the Evil Dead days, and I oh, think I, I there's a show. there's a lot of folks that are younger than us that don't understand like how he goes about movies, so they feel like how he did Doctor Strange two is like. I guess, quote unquote, a step back, even though I don't think it's a step back, but no, I, think don't, it's, I don't they, think it's a step back. Cause like, to me, if you know, Raimi style, that was a fucking Raimi movie. I mean, the oh, only yeah. thing that, that we didn't get was a goddamn chainsaw and, yeah. and, and those fucking <laughs> zombies being called deadites. You know what I mean? Like the Oldsmobile Man. was in it, the doors, yeah. the music, like, like it was a Raimi movie. And the mm. horror elements of this movie, I don't think anybody could have done that quite like him. I mean, it was, it was crazy, too, because even the um, Scott Derrison that that directed the first movie, he's from that James Wan horror roots, but I don't Insidious, think it was... right? Yeah, I think he, yeah, he did Insidious, but I don't think it was like horror compared to what Raimi did in this movie, you know? No, man, you had Doctor Strange's face fucking fall off, and then he had a cape of dead people, you know what yeah. I mean? And like, <laughs> you know, the shit that that was shown in the, like I heard people being like this should have been rated R and I'm like what fucking rated R movies did you watch they, like, they, they pushed this to PG-13 to the limits that you they get did they did but like this is not a rated R movie no, and, like, not, and hell most horror most horror movies nowadays are PG-13 James Wan's movies are, aren't they those PG-13 to a degree I think maybe I always thought they were like kind of like a what I would call like a soft R yeah, I think some you know, of them are soft R, like the Nun you, movie. You I typically think have, R. like, you know, pretty gnarly deaths, but it's not, like, over-the-top gory. Yeah. Yeah. So, it, it's, yeah. I, but, yeah, it was kind of, I think more so than anything, my takeaway is I had saw the leaks before, like, the movie dropped. But for me, like, leaks don't really phase me in terms of being spoiled because it's like, I just want to see it in action before <laughs> yes. I sit there and start assuming shit. And then when I saw the movie proper, I was like, so what were we really concerned about with these spoilers here? Like, what? Okay, sure. Like, I would say one thing, like some, like the death, like some deaths were brutal as shit. <laughs> like they were Black brutal Bulls. as shit. Woo! Yeah, y- yo. <laughs> yo. <laughs> like, <laughs> she, she hit him with the Agent Smith and then I was like, Oh, this can only go bad. And then you seen it? I was like, oh, okay. God. <laughs> we might as well get this out the way. I was not expecting John Krasinski to come in as Reed Richards. I'm not even fucking joking on that. I was not expecting that I shit. Was hoping, I was hoping. I don't know about you guys, but I mean, I think you and I have talked about Fantastic Four for the better part of like five years now. 
Oh yeah, and yeah. we've yeah. fan casted and all that shit. But when when his name got mentioned, I kind of really never thought about it because it, you know, I mean, it's like, oh yeah, you know, I, I read articles that he was super close to being Captain America before Chris Evans. Right. Yeah. And obviously they must like something about him. I mean, he's a good actor. He I, I haven't seen a quiet place too, but like he seems oh, to be quiet a case place of, is crazy good. I didn't like the first one, man. I thought the first one was fucking boring. <laughs> like I, I just it like, takes a minute to grow on you because it's like a very slow burn. That and once you point. see the monsters, I'm like, oh god, I don't give it. It's kind of like signs. Like I fucking love signs <laughs> until you saw the aliens. Saw so the aliens, you're like, oh, this is fucking. I ain't gonna lie. To this day, to this day, I know this is a small tangent, but to this day, I ain't gonna lie. As much as I give shit to M Night, that part where they're in Mexico and you see that fucking alien pop up in front of the window, that is like a legit, like, oh shit. Like right. But when yeah. you full on see them, it's like, oh yeah. fuck. Like I like the little <laughs> pop scares and shit like that. But when yeah. you full on see them, it's just like, get the fuck out Quiet of here. Quiet place like, too. I will say this. You probably like Quiet Place too, because they definitely <laughs> ramp it up on like showing more action instead of the slow burn. I don't so, have anything like I again, it's not him. Like I like him. I love that Jack Ryan show that he's in. Oh, dude, he I'm, doing a I third one too. I don't watch The Office, but like, I've never seen him in anything that I thought he was bad in. And yeah. if you see Mister Fantastic, like the current iteration of Reed Richards, it looks just like him. So when people had mentioned him, it was like, damn, that's pretty good, you know. And then you see like the fan, the photoshops and shit like that, and you're like, yeah, man, that's. That's when dead came, on. When he came out that portal, I was like, oh shit, they did it. Like, damn. Well, I heard, I heard no, go ahead. Sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. No, no, no. You you started. Go ahead. I've heard people say, like, they brought the Illuminati in just to kill him. And for me, it's like, all right, we're fucking with the multiverse. So there's you know infinite numbers of these characters now. Mm-hmm. But the Illuminati were a plot device. They were there to show A, how powerful Wanda is, and B explain to you what happened to their strange and then see show you that they fucking killed Thanos just full stop. And also for <laughs> they're arrogant as shit, just like in the comics. Cause even in the comics, they're very like, Oh, we got this under control. And it's like, no, you don't, you don't have this under mm-hmm. control <laughs> at all. <laughs> and, and see that, that that's kind of like the, the one thing I kind of appreciated more so because that, that storyline, that part of Marvel, like with the Illuminati and Secret Wars, I'm not very like I know like a good amount about it. It's but a I lot of reading. Yeah, oh, but like, <laughs> but like it's it's Hickman. So like we had um, like for me, I have I have like Chris and Deep Palm with their stuff, and they yeah. explaining the Hickman run, and even them going through and having. Ep- like I'm like, holy shit! It is, it that's is a, a lot to it's read. A, it is a and, road map, especially if you were collecting the individual issues at the time. It was yeah. a lot. It, 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 yeah. it, it, it just the way they explain it, and they're like, yeah, oh, this ties into this, and this story ties into this, and I'm like, yo, Hickman really does. For me, it was like, how does he remember all this shit? Like, and knows how to tie it so seamlessly you know what i'm saying <laughs> so for me like i it was, i was just like yo that's a lot of reading i'll get to it but eventually <laughs> yeah like i'm like yo i'll get to it but like seeing but having a, a good concept of it and, and seeing this it, and then me and our, us having our little talk on the side um a while when you when you first saw fantastic fantastic Four, when you first saw uh dr strange it makes me anticipate what co- makes me anxious for what comes next you know what i'm saying and with like see like po- probably secret wars and stuff like that because tell me incursions you tell me you're saying this the multiverse incursions all this yeah i'm kind of looking for like i'm like okay so y'all gonna have your your variation of secret wars or yeah. their ver- the mc version of secret wars i wonder what that is you know well aren't they doing a um a secret invasion show is not yeah. that too at some point Mm-hmm. So I mean that, that kind of lends it to come on that lends it to um you know you do you get you get these shows started you get you know Moon Knight going you get oh, fuck, I went to Raja, but God damn it sorry uh, <laughs> you 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 get all this stuff going you introduce these characters and people are like well, what do you do with them now right and yeah. 
kind of like as a side note, like Moon Knight, you know, tonight would have been Moon Knight, right? So that's over. Right. And like, again, my girlfriend, she doesn't know. <laughs> She's not like steeped in this kind of stuff like I am. So I have to explain everything to her. And at the end of the movie, she's or uh, the show, she's like, "Well, how does how does he fit in with the Avengers?" And I'm like, "It's a good question because he's kind of like an assassin. He's not a superhero, right?" But and they're like, "Wanda, how do you redeem Wanda?" To me, she's past the point of redemption. But if you launch, you know, Secret Wars, and let's say the next, you know, five years or whatever, that's when you can get all these characters together full stop you know like it doesn't matter if moon knight's an assassin they need his help and this movie kind of lays the groundwork for well that and like you know the the shit with the scrolls and all that kind of shit with like uh nick fury being a scroll at the end of the second spider-man and um but i i agree that this movie works well as like a bridge between you know what's going to come next right yep. it's just not i don't know like it wasn't it's not a bad movie at all like i really liked it yeah. it's just kind of like all right like it's not it's definitely not my favorite of this current phase yeah yeah well, i mean what well, cuz we got to look at well if we look at all the movies that came out from this phase so far got shang chi uh Black the eternals Will. Black Widow, but Black Widow kind of doesn't doesn't really count because it's a prequel to yeah. what happened to after Civil War. So it's it's what is it? that was Phase Three. So that's a Phase Four. That's a it's, it felt like a Phase Three movie in Phase Four, just like how Captain Marvel. I mean, it was more so phase- set up. It was more so set up for well Hawkeye Never for mind. Hawkeye, yeah, Hawkeye pretty much. Yeah. Um, but it felt like to me it was like how how Captain Marvel was like a Phase One movie in Phase Three, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? So like yeah, we got those we got those three movies. Look, let me. I guess Black Widow can fits because it served this purpose for Phase Four, <laughs> pretty much. Um, and then we got Thor, and then we got Thor. Yep. Right. Love and Thunder. Yeah. So yep. month yeah. after next, right? Yeah. We got we got Thor, and then that's oh, and we got Black Black Panther. Uh, yeah, Wakanda, Wakanda Forever, which they they actually screened, I guess, a clip of it at CinemaCon, but nobody. Really I can't did. believe that comes out this year. Like it doesn't. Right. It, it, it feels surreal as shit. <laughs> it feels like it's not coming out till next year. Yeah, like it honestly, was supposed to. Wasn't it supposed to come out like last year, and then COVID and kind of I pushed felt like it, it was back to come out like last fall, something like that. And then like, COVID, well, actually, like COVID pushed everything back like yeah. big time. So it's it, yeah, it, it, was, it messed up the order of the releases as well. Yeah. So yeah, like we got these movies, and I, it's weird because like I want to know where how does Black Panther fit in too now? Like coming off, <clears throat> you kind of I mean, wonder. And I mean, like, yeah, because mm. even Thor, like Thor, you you kind of wonder, but not really because it's interplanetary. So like, it, it, it's it's it could be anything. I mean, it could yeah. tie into Moon Knight because of the whole gods aspect of it, right? And well, so, so like, can Black Panther because yeah, you know, they mentioned okay, yeah. they mentioned the ancestral plane in Black Panther. Yeah, they mentioned you know, Boss, the goddess Boss, is supposed to be in Thor, Thor, God and Thunder, Love and Thunder. So right, so like yeah. all these movies. It's almost like in phase one, two, and three, especially phase one, building to the Avengers, the, the connections were obvious. Oh, yeah, it was blat- it was blatant in your face, like, oh, it's connecting to this. And it's like And okay. now they don't seem as obvious. They kind of seem like you gotta squint and tilt your head and be like, Oh yeah, okay. Like Moon Knight, I appreciative. I mean, Moon Knight, I'm appreciative that it was standalone by itself. So any connections that you got was just like, oh, Egyptian gods. Oh, right. Thor. All right, fine. Cool. I don't know how the fuck you put him. Like, I, you know, this whole, like, is it a one and done? Is it a sequel series? Is it going to be a movie like this and that? I mean, come on. The character is going to be back. I would I love mean, to Moon see Knight, Oscar Isaac come back. I mean, um, Moon Knight in the comics, I think a lot of people forget. Moon Knight, just like Punisher, He's never really dipped the toe in the greater Marvel U consistently compared to say like Spider Man or Daredevil. This is like oh, but he there. has been an Avenger. Yeah, Avenger, and then, like I say, even then it's like few and far between. It's not like consistent. 
it's it just, has to really affect them. Yeah, yeah. that's why they're probably pushing like, more Midnight Suns than anything else. Right, but I mean, like with with Disney purchasing those shows to bring them onto Disney Plus, I don't think they're just doing that. And the parental thing too, so they definitely are leaning into that. Which uh, I don't understand, man. How the fuck are you going to edit the blood out of Falcon and the Winter Soldier, but the moon that moon straight night. up kills people? <laughs> Like he straight up kills me. <laughs> Makes no sense. Oh, you know what I, you know what I noticed, um, like a couple days ago. Now, please, I don't need any judgment right now. Just understand, mm-hmm. I, I was bored and I kind of needed a laugh. <laughs> so I was watching. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna say this. I was watching X Men Origins, right? Oh, and- <laughs> <laughs> that's a movie that I really question myself of why I really overhyped that film. I, I, I really question myself. I do I, too. <laughs> I was like, oh man, this movie is great. I question why the fuck I hyped you. You hyped that too. Yo, <laughs> first things first, the CGI is so bad. Yo, you haven't it seen is- anything until you see the work print. It's like, go that- oh, no. oh no, no, no. I saw that way before I saw the, the actual movie. <laughs> I don't think it's they slight I, slight difference. I was like, I don't think they finished anything for real. <laughs> <laughs> but um remember the scene when like the whole Vietnam um, mm-hmm. flashback scene? Yeah. That's cut out. Is so it they really? cut it out? Yeah, they cut wow. it out. Wow. Wow. Because huh. remember, remember Sabretooth was about to uh rape the chick, remember? Oh, well, so they cut that I part look- out, but they cut them getting thrown into the rig essentially. Oh, yeah, like you know, like I don't remember. I remember seeing when they were running, mm-hmm. uh, uh, the, 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 what is it, the, the Civil War, the Revolution, what was it, Civil War, Revolutionary War? Oh, it was Civil War, Revolutionary War. He was in he was in World War II. Yeah, he World was in War Vietnam. II, World War One. Mm-hmm. We had World War One, World War Two. Vietnam, I don't, like, Vietnam yeah, was the last one, and then that's when I, they got Yeah, but the I don't remember seeing Vietnam. They were just in Weapon X. Yeah, what happened was I think they got thrown into the brig because Wolverine Logan was saving Sabretooth from what was happening, and then that's when they got thrown in, and then Striker got him out, and then boom, it cuts to them on the plane. So I you think they probably, so they probably cut that out. Okay, you know, yeah. the only thing that good to come out of that fucking movie was Lee Shriver as uh, Sabretooth, and also Ryan Reynolds as pre Deadpool. Yeah, yeah but you can't count up. that shit because his Deadpool was <laughs> fucked. Like, nah. No, 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 you can't, you can't count that Dead, because Dead, Deadpool killed him. Yeah, he's gone. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's true. That's true. That's true. You can't, but... you can't count it. Like, like, leave Shriver and Sabretooth. Fucking oh, great. Amazing, amazing. They, you know what? But here's the thing. I, I am laughing at the fact that this goes into people's perception of Doctor Strange, right? Like, mm-hmm. I can understand. Like, a lot of people wanted them to go really all in on the multiverse because they believed that rumor that they thought they were going to bring in Deadpool and bring in the Hulk. And I'm like, no, they were not going to do this. Like, that would have been... I think that would have made... have done that? I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's... You got to think about that part, too. Like, why? What, what does it serve in the story? I mean... Nothing. People are impatient. They want everything now. They want it, you know, yesterday. They want it whenever the fuck they want it, and they want it the way that they've envisioned it, and if they don't get it, then the movie sucks and everything's shit. And, Marvel's you know, I mean... Fall- Marvel's falling apart. Yeah, they don't know. Well, right, that, like, that, that's why everybody is not liking, like, they're not telling us much in Phase 4. Good. I don't want them to tell us anything. <laughs> it's, it's like people forget, like, they've been doing these movies for 10 plus years, right? So let's say 13 years, okay? Iron Man 1 was a crapshoot, paid off, launched the whole fucking thing. I mean, Blade, obviously the first one, but that doesn't count because we're getting a new Blade. But like Iron Man 1 <clears throat> launches the whole thing. Then you see Captain America, then you see Thor, et cetera, et cetera. Like every, <coughs> every movie that they've made, even the ones I don't like, have mattered and they've done a good job with expanding and they've done a j- good job with casting they've done a good job with you know storytelling for the most part and it's like after 13 years they're almost kind of sitting back being like look man we've earned the so trust there's, there's benefit of the doubt here yeah so right. like chill out we're not going to tell you much but trust us we got it by now and it's almost like people after 13 years are like no no, no this is going to be the time they fuck it up this is going to be the time they drop the ball and like dude i fucking hated the eternals i thought that movie was awful Yo, that movie was super boring. I'm like, I mean, I, I appreciated to... what it was doing, but it was like, it was like, unlike Ant Man, where it's like you got the general audience behind Ant Man. It's like, 
I can appreciate Eternals, but even me as a person that even I've read the books and I'm still trying to understand it, even though I know it was basically Kirby trying to do new guys, but in Marvel, it's like it worked, but they're going to have to retool that shit for the sequel. Visually, yeah. like the, the effects look cool. I, I, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. It visual, like cin- the cinematography, the effects, all that look cool. It's just, I was, I did not care. Right. Exactly. You know I'm saying like you, you sit in a movie. You, you know, when you watch a movie, you, you, depend on how it, 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 it grabs you. You care, or like it keeps your attention. You just care. I did not care at all. I didn't care about none of them. I didn't care what was going on. I had to watch it a couple times to figure out what who was the bad guy. Then I was like, wait, why are they fighting? <laughs> like, like and I didn't it, know it had like a non-ending. Yeah, there was like no ending. It was just like it was okay, like, oh, we- oh, my man came back and was like, oh, you betrayed me. All right, taking you back into space for judgment. Boom, done. And I'm like, all right. And then you introduce characters, or people are like, "Who the fuck is that?" Introduce <laughs> Thanos, Thanos's brother, and then boom, we get Blade speaking the Black Knight. And I'm like, "All right, I'm invested in that. Cool." I'm like, "All right, like that part was cool, but who are all these people? What, like, why do I? Why am? Why do I care?" Like, you don't. You don't. I mean, that's but that's that's the whole point. Like, at least Doctor Strange. It introduced characters that people are familiar with. People know who Professor X is. People know who Mr. Fantastic is, by and large. People know, maybe they don't know Captain Carter, but they recognize the shield and the uniform as some sort of, like, you know, quote-unquote Captain America. And If you probably see it at Walmart or a Target in the toy section, you know, (laughs) you'll see Captain Carter, and you're like, oh, oh, shit, the toy. Yeah, What's or this? or what, what if? if? Yeah, you know that. Yeah, like Probably like, hard. but but they introduce these. It's 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 kind of the toxic side of fandom. Is like everybody wants John Krasinski as Mister Fantastic, right? So yeah. you cannot tell me that that didn't happen because fans put it out there. Like you can't tell me that five years ago, six years ago, whatever, whatever they're thinking about the next Doctor Strange, you cannot tell me they're like, oh, you know what we should do? Have John Krasinski as Mister Fantastic, like like. That I mean, they, 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 I mean, they've said as much that they kind of take a lot of things into consideration. So I know they probably were like, you know what? Might as well. I mean, because and the thing of it is, a lot of those actors that have auditioned for other roles, like you pointed out with him being Captain America, you know, auditioning for Captain America at one point, which he actually has a funny story about that. But I guarantee you, they like you said, they it sounded like they kind of kept Krasinski on tap. Like, all right, we'll get back, we'll circle back to him. We like him. But we'll get to yeah, I mean, they did that with uh, Tom Hiddleston. I mean, he he auditioned for Thor, and they were like, you know what, you're not our Thor, but you can be fucking Loki. And the guy's made, you know, Shit. a bazillion dollars. <laughs> Shit, <laughs> hell yeah, I'll be, I'll be Loki. A bazillion dollars, dude. Don che- Don Cheadle was literally Marvel's. Tr- People don't realize this before before Terrence Howard. Don Cheadle was Marvel's first choice to be War Machine, but because what? he, yeah, he was their first choice. I forgot which project that he he, he basically was contractually obligated to they didn't they couldn't get him so they got terrence howard instead which i didn't mind terrence howard it was fine but as luck happened terrence howard was beefing because higher-ups didn't want to pay him and boom they were able to get don Cheadle. you know how you know how it is though like when they're hey Cheadle, we want you for this movie man i can't they're like okay all right we'll, we'll get and you they, somehow yeah, some they, way. They, they walk away they're like the fucking million dollar man they're just like laughing, like yeah, okay, everybody's got a price. <laughs> like they're just laughing and like yeah, okay, you don't have time, okay. Oh, and you now, think about uh, it, you know, full of well, at some point, somebody at, at Marvel Studios is like, you know what, we can get Sam Raimi. I don't know what project, but we can get Sam Raimi somehow, some way. I well, not only that, but like Tom Cruise, like the whole Tom Cruise is Iron Man thing. Like, yeah, I mean, I mean, I I've heard for years. Tom but that was Iron Man. He was the choice to be Iron Man before Robert Downey Jr. Now, thankfully, Robert Downey Jr. was cast, and like he is Iron Man. But you can't tell me. Somebody at Marvel's it, like, we need to find a role for Tom Cruise to pop up in here. I don't know what, but we'll find it. Well, not only because because remember the rumors of Tom Cruise being the Green Lantern and shit like that, and people were like, "Fuck, man, whatever." Like, at least if he's on board, he can get that fucking movie made. They got fucking Christian Bale as Gore the God Butcher. I didn't see that coming. I'm like, that's, what, that's what I'm talking Bale? about. <laughs> like all these movies and all these characters, and you find like circling back to to the Illuminati. Like, dude, I mean, seeing John Krasinski, I'm like, oh fuck, of course, of course they got it. 
you know, you know what, Joe, you know, this kind of pushes your agenda of Marvel getting uh, Denzel Washington, right? Dude, make him, mag- <laughs> make him fucking Magneto. I don't think they're going to get him for Magneto, but they're going to find something to put him make in. Make him Magneto? Because gonna... here, here, let's be honest, man. Like, seeing uh, Charles, first of all, how many fucking times are you going to kill Professor X? <laughs> right. Right. And I think this is the worst way. Like, the other ones is like, oh, he got vaporized. This dude got his neck snapped. I was like, like what? Yo. <laughs> and the crazy part, like, that that kill, that kill was kind of, I would say, like, that one was the one that, like, Black Bolt's death was like, damn, that's fucked up. That kill, I was like, oh, shit. Because, like, she just popped out. And even Professor X knew, like, he's like. Oh, damn. How are we going out now? (laughs) Bam! I'm like, oh, shit. Now, let me ask you this. Because, like, again, I've heard people complain about the... But to me, it's like they were a plot device. They were there to serve purposes. They served their purposes. They were taken out of the movie. Right, but, like... So, like, I heard somebody go, like, oh, fucking smartest man alive. There he is explaining his plan. And it's like, have you ever talked to, like, really fucking smart or wealthy people? They feel the need to over-explain everything, Right. It's because like, if here can kill you, and I'm like, why would you? Oh, because he's he's fucking smarter than everybody, and he has to over explain everything. So he, of course, he it, said that. Isn't but, he like that in the comics? Yes, yeah. and yeah. and if you think about it, by him saying, you know, come on, what are we doing? Like Black Bolt here can kill you with a word. He's trying to defuse the situation mm-hmm. because ultimately, Reed Richards is a pacifist. You know what I mean? He doesn't yeah. like all this bullshit. So like Krasinski to me played him fucking perfect. Like that was, yo. I need to, I need to see him as a read. I need to see him again. And people are I like, "Well, they him. killed him." It's like, yeah, but first, it, I didn't. I did not like his costume at all. It was just like, damn, it's, really? I kind of liked it. It wasn't six one six read, but it felt. But it felt like like you know what it is. I'm not gonna say it felt like they pieced it together last minute, but it kind of felt like all right. We need a Fantastic Four costume. Boom, here's a costume. You know what it is? It's like when you see people do fan artwork and they take Marvel cinematic costumes and they expand upon it. Marvel mm, Marvel yeah. costumes are known for like paneling, seams, uh, piping, Spider-Man shit like co- that. The, Sp- the Spider-Man costume before he went the OG one at the end of No Way right. Home. You, yeah. you have, you it's have very scenes, busy. You have, <laughs> yeah, you have piping, you have all that shit. And it's like I see a lot on Twitter, like people will take, you know, oh, here's my idea from Mr. Fantastic. Oh, the Eternals costume. costumes are a great example of that. Right. Easily. <laughs> but but those are supposed to be like organic and like where it's like Mr. Fantastic. Too busy. It just I was looking it doesn't have to be just plain fucking blue and black or white or whatever yeah. like that. But it was just like okay, he doesn't necessarily need armor. Okay. Okay, mm-hmm. but why 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 is there so many like seams and piping and, and this and this and that? Like I think they were trying to sell us on the illusion that, hey, you know, it's not just stretchy fabric. It's, you know, it's got a purpose. And it was like, yeah, but like, what's the fucking purpose of all this shit? You know what I mean? Like, I think missing in all that, too, is that people forgot that line. Dr. Strange said that, hey, didn't you guys go missing in the 60s? And I was like, oh, ooh. so there, there you go. So, so technically, the Fantastic Four already did exist in oh, the MCU. You. So okay. Right. And like right. We, how how many of the Illuminati do you think will come back as the official versions, let's say moving forward? So we already know and let me side note, um what's his name? John Watts mm-hmm. being you know, stepping down from Fantastic Four. I'm telling you right now, it's because John Krasinski's gonna direct the Fantastic Four. Or I heard Peyton Reed might take over it after Ant Man Quantumania. I'm telling you right now, I'll bet you fucking anything. I'll bet you anything. Part of them getting Krasinski was okay. I'll I'll do it, but I want to direct too. Now, if he's just directing only and not being Reed Richards, that's going to be interesting. But if he's doing both, that no, I'm be telling you both. I'm telling you both. You think he will? All right. Yes. All right. All right. But do you think? Do you think moving forward? Obviously, um, Brie Larson is the Captain Marvel of this universe. Lashana Lynch is you know, the Captain Marvel of alternate universes. But do you think like uh, Patrick Stewart's going to be Professor X? Do you think Krasinski's going to be Mr. Fantastic? Do you think Anson Mount's going to be Black Bolt? Or do you think these were just kind of cameos? I think there was cameos, but I think you're going to get a different iteration because I think you're going to probably get Strange, Clea, Ree Richards, no, 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 I'm talking the actors moving forward. Oh, 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 oh. oh I oh. think you'll get you'll get Krasinski. I don't know about uh I don't think you'll Patrick get Stewart. 
I don't think you'll get Stewart. I don't. I don't. I don't either because my man looks old. <laughs> you yeah. might get old boy from the from the Inhumans show if they want to reuse him again. Maybe. Which I think I I think they should, just because I think he got. He got a fair shake this go round. It was short, yeah. but I think he got a fair shake this go round. And 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 I know it's kind of basic, but I did like that costume. I did like. Yeah. I did like that black. It costume. looked like the fucking comic, but like like it looked. And, and, okay. and, and yeah, right. And and I think that that's the the one of the cool things about this phase is like this has been going towards the okay, we're going into comic the comic accurate costumes now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um. Just, See, I, I'm of I'm of the belief like keep them comic accurate somewhat, but also make them functional like for the world. Like okay. Cap, Captain America's costumes in these movies are fucking infinitely better than anything that's been on the page. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's it's it, it's it's funny the natural progression it is. Even though I'm still not a fan of the Avengers costume, the Avengers one costume. Which yeah, yeah, okay, like, we don't talk about that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we so we'll skip past that and yeah. go to Winter Soldier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll skip past that and go to Winter Soldier. But they've gotten progressively like, oh shit, this is great. But I like that. I like I like well, I like Sam Wilson's uh, Captain America costume now. Like I like that one as well because it it's it, growing it, on me. But you know they're gonna streamline it because. Like if you watch those special features of the thing, it's really bulky on him, and they have to like taper in like the oh uh, yeah they got to the neckline. Down. Actually, and, it's funny. I think it's because okay, so I think when he did that last episode of Falcon with the Soldier, he filled in that suit pretty good. But then after the show, when they had him doing like commercials and stuff, you could tell it's like you're not that big to fill in the costume like you used to. He's gonna get like a like when Captain America four comes out and he takes over the the role. He's going to get, I mean, every single Captain America movie, he got a new cot, and it might have been a slight alteration. But I mean, Sam needs the armor. He needs the protection more mm-hmm. so than even Steve did. Yeah. So, you know, I mean, like that was fine for like a TV show, and it looked cool. Like, hey, man, like I recognize that as Captain America. Like, good for right. him. Yeah. Oh, I just don't want him to, I just don't want him to fuck with the shield. Like, leave the shield as it is. Don't fuck with it. Oh, they'll stick. They'll keep the shield as is. Um, but you know that they're gonna they're gonna mess with the costume. They're gonna mess with the wings. And I want to know who the fuck builds those wings now. Did they they changed up uh, Doctor Strange's costume in this uh, movie with the cape? Yeah, it looks good though. It looked di- like it threw me off at first. It's like, did they change up? The- All right, mm-hmm. cool. And Ida Agamotto, it looks like he has something else inside of it, which I'm still trying to figure out what that is. Um, yeah. Oh, oh, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. I wasn't saying anything. Oh, okay. Um. I, I really I like the costume I like Doctor Strange's costume I I don't know like I think he, he, Joe you kind of leaning me more to like like up in my score <laughs> from like a seven as I like played in my as I play like because I you know I saw it yesterday I still freshly remember it just yeah a lot of the aesthetics of Doctor St- Doctor Strange did look good a lot of the aesthetics of it the um because I can't really. Maybe I'll find the negatives, like as we talk more going forward with the uh, just talking about everything. But right now, just like just as we're talking about, like just the aesthetics, costumes, uh, how stuff was playing out, certain functionality and everything. Like I, I, it looked good. Everything I think, just everything visually in in Doctor Strange did look good to me, like the effects and all that. The only thing that I had a problem with, like like for instance, I heard people say like in the beginning the Shuma Gorath. Oh, he looked cartoony, and I'm like, "What the fuck is a giant space one-eyed squid creature?" Octopus, you know what? what, what the like. fu- yeah, the what only the fuck downside he- I hated was they killed him so quick, and I was like, "Oh, yeah, but come on, man! Like, you know, <laughs> he's part of a fucking species and all this bullshit." Yeah, but like, the thing is, is like, I, I, I kind of like when they get silly with these creatures because if you're fucking with the multiverse. Like when they start f- flying through the multiverse in once in one panel, they're animated, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So why can't you have a monster look a little bit more "quote unquote" cartoonish? And why is that such? I mean, we're dealing with fucking cartoon and comic book characters, and people are right. complaining how ridiculous they look. When it's I just, like, I, I need that same energy for Dormammu. That's all I'm asking. No, you know what? It's the same. The people that are complaining about. Like, oh, he looked too, you know, cartoony, too silly. Are the same motherfuckers that want Wolverine to wear that stupid ass mask? I kind of want it, but nah, fuck I, 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 I kind of need it. I kind of need it. Dude, if, I'm, I'm going to tell you the same thing. If they can make it work, I'm with it. 
I've told, okay, I every, I've told, I've told I everybody it. this since day one. Okay, I when like when when they wear like the black tactical suits, right? I kind of yeah. get it, but he never wears a mask. You think a character like Wolverine, when shit pops off, is going to be like, "Hold on, guys, I got to go put my shoulder pads <laughs> and my fucking pants and my my my, my design costume pants. with the little <laughs> slash marks on it, and I got to put my like Wolverine doesn't give a fuck if you know who he is. I just need a variation of that costume. Wear it right. one time. And just like, he doesn't do, do, need to have the fucking hair either. Like all I'm saying it. is, do it like the Thor one movie where we see at the beginning Thor has the helmet yeah. on, and you're like, all right, dope, and he takes it off, and we never see it again. I'm like, all right, that's all I need. Just give me one time. I mean, yeah, if they want to, if they want to do like like kind of how Cap wore his uh, thing at the the um, he was like so USO. Sure. Yeah, like yeah. okay, fine. Yeah. But I've always people that are like, you should wear the. It's like, for, why the fuck would Wolverine wear? Because even mask? in the comics, he's kind of like he'll wear it just for like aesthetic purpose, and then eventually it's like, why the hell do I need to wear this mask? But it's like, again, it's like a mask protects your identity. So why the fuck would Wolverine spend the time? Like Wolverine, honestly, if like they're X-23 not going to go with like a X twenty three has a better reason to have a mask than Wolverine look, at this point. I know it sounds. I know it's crazy him running around with this <laughs> goddamn mask. It was insane. But I need it. <laughs> like, I need it. <laughs> you you got it in those cut scenes <laughs> from from what was it Logan or whatever the fuck it was? Uh, no, no, the Wolverine. The cut, yeah, the Wolverine. All oh, right, they, so like, they, they, like that's fine. Like, okay, seeing it like that, but like Wolverine should just wear the shit that he's wearing and go fuck shit up. I mean, if you just give me the yellow costume minus the mask, I'll take I'll take that as the compromise. Like, all right, no, I need fine. the brown one. No, I need the brown. Mm, one. Mm. <laughs> or just. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, make brown. make the X Men like the X Men are basically like a tactical team, right? So if they yeah. have somewhat you know uniform ish, where they kind of look similar, they have similar uh, textures and whatnot. Like, okay, cool, because they're they're a uni- they're they're a team. All right, yeah. fine. The Fantastic Four, same thing. <laughs> like the Avengers, you can tell when Tony supposedly made this costume and this costume, and they all kind of look the same ish, yeah. right? So with the X Men, like I don't, I don't need the goofy ass mask and the shoulder pads and shit like that. I mean, I don't he think, doesn't fucking like, I don't need think armor. Gonna, I don't think they're gonna go. I, I think they might lean on the '90s nostalgia, but they'll definitely throw their MCU spin on it to kind of make it up to up the code to modern standards. Because, like I said, I agree with with the jacket. Because I agree with because I do agree with you, Charlie, on the whole aspect of like when Xavier came in on the hover thing. I was like. That hover chair should have been a little bit more smaller because he just looks like. Why is very... it up to his titties? That's <laughs> what I'm saying. I'm like, yo, it should just be up to his torso. Like, if all right, it was, cool. Like, it looked like a like a walker for a baby. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> all right, you know, don't grant it. I I love the music. I love the whole. Oh, when they when they did that guitar <laughs> riff, I was like, fuck <laughs> off. Don't put, don't put the telep the telepathy uh shit. That looks like, cool, bruh, bruh. <laughs> it's like when they did the little the little fucking waves with Spider Man Spidey sense. You could see them. Yeah, you know, right. like in the in the the last one, we were like, "Oh my god, they gave me the fucking waves." I mean, it's just those. I mean, because like you said, like you mentioned, how they literally put fucking Thanos in the pack in the fucking flashbacks. I was like, "Oh shit! All right, well, that was quick." <laughs> Mister Fantastic was just standing like it was no big deal. Uh, you know what? I'll be honest with you. I think I think uh, I think uh, Captain Marvel and and Black Bolt did majority of the work. Honestly, <laughs> see, I think that I think that our Captain Marvel is more powerful than that Captain Marvel. I mean, look, it kind of answered the age-old question of who's powerful, and Wanda only got by because, oh shit, statue, bam. I'm like, oh, you kind of looked out on that, Wanda. But, but, but that, that's kind of my point. It's like, like if a statue fell on Captain Marvel that, you know, the Brie Larson one, it's so. I mean, she's had fucking planets and shit fall on her, like a yeah. statue. Because <laughs> when a statue fell on her, I was like, what? Like it's like dropping a car on Superman. You're like, uh, <laughs> it's fucking. I was kind of like, that's how she goes arm, <laughs> and then Superman's arm just drops. Like you're like, wait, yeah. Like I thought that was really <laughs> fucking stupid. Like turning Black Bolt, you know, uh, blowing his own head up. That was cool. Turning Mister Fantastic into fucking Play Doh, basically. That was cool. Captain uh, I was like, oh shit. Geez. That one hurt my that one mm. hurt my heart, man. Mm. You know, I love I love Peggy, but that one was Bro, like, hey, look, man. We were all like, yo, when Peggy threw that shield at Strange, I was like, oh my God. 
I did not think it would look that good in live action, but it did. I was afraid. I was like, yo, please. Like when she, when you see her look after she gets hit, I was like, please don't have her lean to a, to either or side. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. know. (laughs) (laughs) All you needed, all you needed was that bloody shield. I was like, and yeah. 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 Cause if you had her kind of looking like she, her body sliding off, I would have left. I would have left the theater. No, that's some Sam Raimi shit there. He would have showed it like, I, I was uh, I was waiting for somebody to use a chainsaw. <laughs> I mean, at that point, I, I mean, I wish. I mean, technically, Strange did kind of do it when he saw when he saw the bus in half. That's like the closest you're gonna get. I, I know, but for a second, when they were fucking with the universe thing, I was like, if they mention a deadite, if one of them says, "I'll swallow your soul," if they call it a boomstick, if I see a fucking chainsaw, or if they mention Ash. I'm gonna and my girlfriend's like, what the fuck is all that? I'm like, don't stop talking. Look, look, <laughs> like, we, we was... have to we, we have to address this because I, I kind of stopped Charlie in the middle of a rant. So the biggest point of contention this weekend was how everybody just were in utter shock and they were mad because they felt Sam Raimi didn't watch WandaVision because why is Wanda evil? And I'm like, did you guys not watch no, it's a natural progression? Like <laughs> she was evil, like she literally told everybody in, in, in that town, like, yeah, my bad for, you know, you know, putting you through that shit. I'm out for here. enslaving you. <laughs> they were all horrified when they like came when they came to. They were like, yo, I want it to stop. I hate I, you. I, I want this to stop. Like, it feels like I'm trapped. She said, my bad. I'm out. And I'm like, so. But if you think about it, Strange <laughs> and Wanda are on similar but opposite progressions. Thanks. Like. Yes. Strange is learning, you know, to let what's her name? Teresa? No, is it uh, uh, Christine, Paul, Christine? Christine. Chris, so he's learning to let her go. He finally told her that he loved her. You know, her saying, like, you always have to be the one holding the knife. Like, he's a control freak. So, like, in this movie, he's learning to trust America. He's learning to trust Christine, et cetera, et cetera. He's kind of letting go of this control because he was an uptight asshole with the Avengers, too. And then you see Wanda. Like, first of all, Wanda should never be a mother. And <laughs> fictional characters, people, <laughs> fictional kids. Well, she my my to, my question she is, was who not the to fuck, steal. Yeah, she was going to steal somebody else's kids. <laughs> but who the fuck was the father of those children in the other timelines? It That's wasn't what I'm Vision, saying. Because Vision can't have kids. Or it probably was like Vision, but he's human. But but like the fact that we never got to see a Vision in a different yeah. timeline, even a human one. Or whatever was like, well, she's huh? like, she's single. She probably was just single momming it up. Whoever fucked her, boom. That's but if you remember, like, the whole premise of her enslaving that town <laughs> was because of vision. Yeah. And, and 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 all she does is quickly mention, like, I blew him up, and da 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 da. And you're like, that's it. Like, that's all that he gets is, is yeah. that because yeah. <laughs> white vision is somewhere. But I don't think Wanda from- comes back for a while. Oh no, no, no. It's 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 literally like for those that don't like after at the end of House of M when like everything went back to normal, she literally disappeared off the fucking um um, She's um gone for years, wasn't she? Yeah, she was gone yeah. for years. She was chilling in a in a village outside Laveria for like five years, and Doom is the one that found her. Oh god, if they bring in Doom. All hope lies in Doom. Look, dude, it is gonna be heavily every dependent time on who they cast it as Doom. <laughs> The second Doom gets mentioned, I have to stop and take a knee. <laughs> because you got you got Krasinski, I think he'll be back. I don't think you just get like how cruel is it to be like, hey guys, we got what you wanted, but just this one time. You know what I mean? Like I don't oh, no, think they're gonna. You do might that. be right. They might bring him back. It's just it's gonna be a case of how do you make his read different than the one from. I think you make him younger. I think you make it. He doesn't have kids. Yeah, no kids yet. Yeah, no kids. Kevin yet. So he, Feige better not. Kevin Feige better not. We got better not do us on some. We got Reed Richards at the house. Like, <laughs> it's, no, like no, bring that one. <laughs> just, mon- just minus the minus the beard. Just minus the, the beard. fuck that. Just, no, I need, the beard. About? <laughs> I, I need the beard. I need the beard. I don't know. It's like you. It's like maybe I just because again, I want them to kind of differentiate it from like the one from from the Doctor Strange one a little bit. He just so doesn't like have that. the grays on the side. All right, all right no, right, fuck there. that. He's got to have the gray on the side. What are you guys talking about? <laughs> I don't know. I guess maybe you can make him more. I guess more kind-hearted, not as arrogant. He's, he's, I guess he's, I don't know. He's 
It's simple. I mean, different costume, number one. There you go. Okay. <laughs> different costume. You get to see. Uh, come on, dude. If Emily Blunt's not fucking Sue Storm, I don't know. They said Bryce here. Dallas Howard might end up being Sue Storm. All right. Whatever. She's fine too. But yeah, yeah. like, <laughs> come on. You know, he, he, Krasinski is your fucking uh, Reed Richards. And dude, Zach Efron, get that fucker to play Johnny Storm. He'll do it. My thing is, I had, you know what's funny? Despite how I felt about that last Fantastic Four movie, they had a baseline idea of how to do the thing that looked decent. It wasn't horrible or anything, but like... My man was naked, though. Yeah, I know. It was like, uh, I kind of need the thing in like a, a, have a pants. thong. Yeah, I need pants. <laughs> pants or a Fantastic Four thong or something. I don't know. No, nah, I need the pants. I need the pants. All right, all right. Fair, fair, fair. I, I don't think you could... As no shirt, no shirt, but he needs out of the pants. As long as they're not looking like because I always do my this thing. I, most times I do this thing on Facebook where I like to remind everyone where comics were in the 90s. <laughs> <laughs> when designs were a little out of pocket and strange. Hey, I had to remind people on the Shane Chi podcast. I was like, do y'all know what fucking Razor Fist looked like in the fucking 90s? We don't go back to that anymore. <laughs> Didn't he wear like fucking He Borat? was SNL. He, they had he like SNL Borat's gear. fucking suit, basically. <laughs> <laughs> Just like Fantastic Four in the '90s, when Sue Storm was like wearing, yeah, like she I was, remember. you know, working the dude. She worked at a strip club. At I, I, dude, time. Like I, as I, much I, as I love him, what about Jim Lee's redesign of like Thor? You guys ever see where he's got like the half shirt? Yeah, it was very and like the fucking headband. Extreme and shit. '90s yeah. extreme. I Everything mean, look, had chains and pockets. I would go yeah. if I'm doing the thing for the MCU. They gotta go like the uh, the 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 2000 Fantastic Four cartoon where Thing had pants and just spray painted Fantastic Four on his chest in blue spray yeah. paint. <laughs> when 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 Mister Fantastic popped up, my girlfriend goes, "Oh, so do each of them have like one, two, three, four? And I just look at her like, "No, they just have four. <laughs> and she's like, "She's what, like, what yeah." And I'm saying? like, <laughs> "I'm like, no, because they're called the Fantastic Four. And she goes. Oh, and she looks at me and she goes, well, "Which one is him?" And I'm like, "Fucking Julie, he's number four. Like, now, <laughs> now, if they now if they give him like the Future Foundation shit, that'd be dope. They gotta be blue, man. They gotta be blue. I know. Yeah, you gotta be blue. Yeah, you're right. You're you right. can have right. like I actually liked that that um that co- that cartoon that you're talking about, the Fantastic Four. I think yeah, that's world's still greatest, one yeah, of the world's best. greatest heroes. Yeah, I dude, I have the DVDs of that shit. Oh, I, I bought that DVD that. immediately. It's Th- that's I think the that modern one, right? Fucking yeah, it, was, great. it came out like early 2000s on Cartoon okay. Network. Okay, and okay, okay. I like how their suits were white with blue, and then you had like a bit of like a reddish orange. Mm-hmm. That was cool. Like that was a nice way to differentiate things from like the comics to all oh, right, you know, we're a little bit more, you know. And they low key, even, and they low key put cameos from She Hulk and Iron Man. And and fucking Squirrel Hulk Girl was in it. Squirrel Dude. Girl was in the show. <laughs> yeah, that was a great show, but. I mean, for their for their suits, that works. It, you're right because that suit, the suits do look pretty dope. I ain't gonna lie. Like, for the suits, you have to have them. You know, obviously they're a team, but you have to explain at some point, like how did Reed, they Reed, from the 60s? Reed, Reed has to design the suits because how does fabric just disappear? How does it stretch? How does it become fire retardant? You know what I mean? Like all these things, but. Marvel's done a really good job with these costumes, by and large. Like the new Thor hey, thing, see, the new see, Thor armor looks oh, fucking great. Okay, so, yeah, because I was definitely looking at, I was looking for it on the on Google on my phone, and I just yeah. like, as soon as you brought it up, I'm looking at it. I'm like, yeah, that works. I like that. Yeah, yeah, this I, works definitely. It's kind of like, um, <laughs> it's cool. You guys like play that. the Miles Morales game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that suit version where it's like white, where he's got the big ass red spider on him. I think yeah. it's called like the track suit or something. Yeah, I think it's tracksuit. That suit is oh. fucking great because it's so different than Spider Man. Spider Man's had black and red, but he's never really worn like a white suit. You know, I, I get Future Foundation and shit like that, but like, yeah, that suit worked because it was so different, and you could see the detail and everything. So if they did the Fantastic Four like that, or I know that they've done versions where they had different tones of blue, but the one that he wore, I was like, mm, what's all that shit around your collar? I will say this though. I like how strange. I think you could say maybe this is my theory. I had a theory that when Strange visited Wanda, he knew that where he was at was bullshit from jump. And he hey, was just he's waiting. Not and, he, and, and it looked like he was waiting for her to like really I'm, tell the truth the whole time I mean, he, until she he, slipped up. I mean, he said it, but he said it though. He was like, Yeah, these he's like, these almost smell real. 
or something, right? Yeah, something so, like that. Yeah. He's like, yeah, these are the He's like, they are real. I'm just, I'm just gardening. I do that. I gave the witchcraft up a long time ago. And then when she said, yeah, just like, you know, said, so, you know, have, bring me America. I could protect her. I never told then, you the name. And like <laughs> the crazy, the crazy part was when that happened, I was like, the look on his face, like, how did she was like, how did you know? Come on, dog. Like, like no, nah, but like when it happened, I, like for me, I was sitting in the theater. Like, wait, did he did he say her name? Did I miss something? Because I, I know I wasn't. On, I'm, I'm not on my phone. I think I'm we have looking to, at the I, theater. I feel we have to really. I feel we have to really credit the trailers for Doctor Strange, even though the one, even the one that everybody says spoiled the Illuminati. They didn't tell us who the bad guy was. So when you're watching the movie, I was kind of curious. Like, I'm like. Well, who's the bad guy? You just I mean, killed. come on, man. No, no, but but no, in my head, I was like, well, who's the bad guy? Because I was thinking, all right, they killed Shuma Gorath. Who's the bad guy? And then right when she slipped up and said, he said, I never told you your name. I was like, oh. There was a collective the uh, when, when she said that. Because as soon as he said, like, this was conjured by a witch, I nudged Julie. And she's like, again, like, she's the sweetest girl in the world, but she doesn't follow the shit. So she's yeah. just kind of like, so? And then, you know, when they're walking, it was actually her, uh, yeah. Wanda. She goes, she pauses. She goes, you didn't tell me her name, did you? And he goes, I didn't. And when, as soon as she said that, there was like three people in the audience going, this bitch. Man, look, everybody, there, even for our press screener that we saw, everybody was like, oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. I w- and, you know, it was like, it was like, okay, this is going to go super left. But at the same time, I was just like, oh, so you're just telling us off the cuff who the villain is. Oh, she murdered people in Cosmo Hall. Don't get it twisted. She murdered. No, no, no. Like when, when, when she was, when she said her name, he's like, you didn't tell me her name. I was like, oh, so, oh, so you letting us know off back. Like, okay, this is. And, and, and gave just, him an ultimatum too. Like, yeah, if you don't give me to her, I'm, I'm going to come for her. Like straight up, like just telling you that. Right I now. mean, her progression is, is. If you think about it, like she willingly joined Hydra, you know, because of the death of her parents, right? So, yeah, like, right. Wanda is susceptible to making bad decisions so after she experiencing used the trauma. Darkhold. She used the dark hold after Agatha told her, like, yo, this dark hold, yo, it can't consume you. She's like, that's cool. I like the black fingers, though. I like, like, but the thing, you know, like going into that movie and watching her do what she does, and then they mm-hmm. explain, like, you're going to kill a child to save your children that aren't real. And she's like, yeah, so. That's cool. After some point, I'm like, <laughs> you know what? I was like, you know what, man? Fuck this bitch. Like, we've all experienced trauma. We've all experienced loss. Like, I've experienced it. And, like, yeah, man, like, you do anything to have that person back. But, like, it doesn't involve killing other people. You know what I mean? And so for, for her to be like, yeah, so like I'm, I'm about to kill this bitch so I can take her power. And it's like, right, but what happens to the mother of those children? And she's like, eh, I'll figure it out. Yeah, we'll figure it out. You You're know. like, damn, bitch. Like, well, that's why I like how America was like, nah, I know a good way to really get you. And she punched her and threw her in that dimension and scared the shit out of those kids. I'm like, and they're not your kids anymore. <laughs> those kids are any more therapy. Anymore. They weren't her kids to begin with. <laughs> They're fictional. <laughs> they were did you guys, <laughs> did you guys think that, uh, Did you guys think that we'd see a, a, a glimpse of uh, Randy Spider Man for a second? I thought for a second when they were on that street, I did too. That they were going to do yeah. like a wink and a nod yeah. of like, "Hey, like him, this, you know, him swinging by and like, or Jay Jonah pop, or Jay Jonah in some way is like still doing his whole, you know, <sighs> you know, mm-hmm. his whole show and stuff." Because look. Yeah. I'll say this. Number one, I like how Christine's husband was all in. Like, I like how we finally reached a point in MCU where New Yorkers see a monster and like, oh, well, the superheroes got it. It's cool. It's, it's, it's great. That's like, they, they got their phones out. Like, oh, shit, this dude, is her awesome. Old, dude, her old husband was all like, oh, shit, Dr. Strange. That's dope. Wong. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, this is normal. This, this her is husband normal. was like, look, I know you guys used to date and everything. And like, I know we're getting married and everything. But like... Could no, you give me his autograph or something like that? You know what I mean? Like, let me find over. I'm a fan, please. <laughs> I am still a fan. I know y'all had a thing, and the fact that you left him for me, <laughs> yo, Christine looks so fed up. And I'm like, you're married, Christine. This is this what you wanted? How are you gonna get fed up that your husband is fought it over? Doctor, I, I will say, saying. I will say this: like, Doctor his Strange. transformations. Oh, that shit was dope. Yeah, that was like, Oof. damn, those are not, like it was so because like. I'll tell you one thing, man. Benedict Cumberbatch is becoming 
to Doctor Strange, what I feel like Chris Evans and Robert Downey Jr. were to like Iron Man and Cap, where you, you just kind of can't see anybody Dude, he else. Drank that martini, put that cape on. I was like, and there it is. Well, he just like, but I was like, ah, my man finishes his drink too. Good for you. Like, because he's like, I'm about to go fight this giant ass monster. I need a fucking drink. Whips out the fucking cape. And I like how cape is the, the cloak, rather, is basically like fucking carpet from Aladdin now. Yeah. <laughs> you know? And, I mean, I, hey, look, that was the smartest decision ever in the first movie. It, it was like, it works. Like, it just it just works. Yeah. I love it, it. it. It's cool. Yeah. Like, it's super cool. And it looks fucking. I, I like how they patched it up on the back. And I'm like, God damn. It's like a badass like wizard quilt. I mean, look, it looked like the uh Technicolor dream coat pretty much. I mean, like just was look. it as cool as uh fucking Zombie Strange's like cloak of the dead or whatever that shit was? Man, look, um number 1, I need I need going forward anytime there's magic based stuff happening, I need to them to do like what Strange and his evil counterpart was dueling. I need that shit. The musical <laughs> note, the <laughs> musical <laughs> note battle, I love that yeah. shit. I love and that. It, and it went along with the score, which was super cool. Yo, yo, you get Danny Elfman plus that. I was like, you son of a bitch. I'm in. Let's go. Yeah, there was some really unique, like, um, again, like to me, knowing Sam Raimi and like, you know, I mean, I've been watching Sam Raimi since the Evil Dead and like knowing his style, you can go, oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. But I also I wish, like how I wish he you got works. Liam Neeson as a cameo in this movie somehow. I wish. Really? I wish. I don't know why. I just wish. To but I him. like how he was able to work within the Marvel, you know, confines rather. Yeah. And still, like, it looked like a Marvel movie. But it's kind of like how Taika Waititi made the, the third Thor just completely different and unique. And that's why we're getting a four. I mean, Thor is going to be the first person to have his own you know, quadrilogy, whatever you want to call it. I mean, there's a look, Joe, I know we disagree on this. There's a reason why I loved Iron Man three. Cause that's all Shane black, man. Fuck for Shane better black. or worse. Th- yeah. For better or worse. Uh, that's all Shane black. That that's, that's all he is like through and through. So it's like, all right. Yeah, didn't Shane like, black do the fucking predator too. Yeah. That yeah. all, all, that all was, his, his that fingerprints. Was all, <laughs> that was Shane black too. <laughs> that was Shane black trying to channel the first movie in the most, just what are we doing here? Guy? Like, did you forget how you wrote the first movie? Like, did, yeah. did you forget Dude. that somewhere along the way here? <laughs> no. Like, God, like what is terrible. What Taika did to Thor fits with Thor. What Tony, what, or sorry, what Shane Black did to Tony, how does that, I mean, Tony's a tech guy in his whole fucking movie actually, is his tech failing. Actually, what Joe Johnson did with the first Captain America movie. I loved that, it. That, that was his. That's, that's because, all Joe Johnson. Like, yeah, that's Rocketeer. He did the, Dude, yeah, he did the fucking Rocketeer. Rocketeer. Yeah, he did the like. Did you notice Peggy's jetpack? Yeah, I was like, oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. I mean, there, there, it feels like they're starting to the kind of like let directors do their not necessarily do their own thing, but kind of put their stamp now. Because even with um, what's his face doing the Guardians, um, um, doing the Guardians movies, James Gunn, James Gunn, that's James Gunn's sensibilities right there, straight up. Yeah. You can see Guardians translate into Peacemaker. I mean, not as hardcore, Suicide obviously. Squad, Suicide, Suicide Squad, Suicide Squad. Yeah. but like you can see. You know, I, I heard that Kevin Feige told somebody like, you know, hey, w- w- why would you hire James Gunn? Like, he's never done a movie this big and before the first Guardians. And he's like, hey, man, a good storyteller is a good storyteller. And he's right, which is why I'm saying like, yeah, Peyton Reed, I know he desperately wants to do the Fantastic Four. And I have no doubt that they'll bring John Watts back. I think they're going to bring John Watts back for Secret Invasion. Watts wanted a break, which I totally understand. I don't believe that fucking story for a second. Look, 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 look. He did. <laughs> look, when's the last time a director other than the Russos was actually on three movies in a row? Like, that's Sam that's, Raimi. Well, I mean, well, in the current MCU continuity, I guess that John Watts is probably the only one, and Peyton Reed will probably be like the second one that actually be on all. So I get the break, but you're probably right. They probably will be like, hey, so, um, John, how much money do you want? I, 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 my, my, personal belief and listen you know i mean maybe he does want to break or whatever but he i i think that krasinski wants to direct as well as star mm-hmm. and so it's like all right you know we got krasinski coming up with um because you notice the timing of these announcements is a week is a week before dr strange dr strange has john krasinski as reed richards like and this could be like the the fanboy conspiracy theorist in me but like <laughs> I'm I'm like no man, 
you know, I, I do believe John Watts was set to do Fantastic Four. And I, I, I bet he was asked, like, look, you do us a solid step aside. We got Krasinski. We got to make this announcement coming up. But we'll give you something better. You know, we'll give you something big, whether it's an Avengers movie. Oh, they say he might come back for the four Spider-Man movie, so that might be the other thing. Right, too. but I, I I do but that's a Sony movie. I think that the MCU proper, like Disney, is is going to give him something juicy to step aside. And I think because like when 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 he stepped aside, my my initial thing was like, dude, get fucking Brad Bird to do the Fantastic Four. Like <laughs> what's, what's he doing? Nothing. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Iron Giant, The Incredibles, like he can do it, right? Right. But I don't think Brad Bird's going to do it. I think it's going to be John Krasinski. I think, be, and, and my whole point like was like, last, what did the last movie Brad Bird did? I think he did. Didn't he do like Mission Impossible? Impossible? Yeah, Ghost Protocol. No, no, he did direct. No, no, you're right. Yeah, Mission Impossible. That was a lot. No, Tomorrowland. That was like his last actual director directing. So movie. he's in the Disney wheelhouse. But I think that yeah, like because. There. Krasinski did the Quiet Place movies and they're, you know, they're successful. Yeah. People like him. They're doing a third one. Like he can tell a story. He seems to be a capable director. Like, why not? I mean, fucking James Gunn did like Slither and and Super before Guardians, and he's made a franchise. So if Krasinski can direct and act, great, you know, and then Peyton Reed, I mean, he just kind of eats shit, but <laughs> he's just like, really, guys? Like. Yeah. It's like I can't do this. Like, all right, cool. Like, you won't let me do it. But um, I, I think mean, that John Watts comes back for something like you know, Secret Invasion or some shit like that. I was kind of like I said, seeing the evil. Which I'm glad the movie debunked the fact that I thought that was actually the what if, like evil Doctor Strange, but clearly yeah. it wasn't. But I was like, all right, well, I'm fine with that. Didn't that fucking third eye look kind of janky? Yeah, it, it looked good in one sip, in one sense, and then other times it was like that's eh, a little off, like. Because I think the 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 um, post credit scene it looked a little bit better. I think when it had when he had to melt down in the street, it looked okay. I think when it was on Evil Strange, when it first appeared on Evil Strange, it looked weird as shit. It yeah. looked like somebody used a clone tool in Photoshop. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean, where it's all pixelated and shit. And yeah. I I liked um, Defender Strange. Ponytail was weird, but I like Defender Strange. He had uh, ice powers, basically. That's what it looked like, essentially. Yeah. Like his powers were derived like using ice, and I was like, "Oh, that's interesting." Hmm. Uh, they're, um, they're telling us that Iceman is coming soon, and uh... you know what's you know what's funny? I actually saw I actually saw somebody say that. I'm like, dude, how oh, the fuck do you, how the fuck did you get that from that? Like the motherfucker can people, fly. People, Does that mean dude, Superman's folks, coming? Folks thought that this movie was going to be how we were going to get the X Men proper, and then that didn't happen. I think they partially were probably right on the Fantastic Four being introduced, but I think that was more so that line from Doctor Strange and them disappearing in the '60s, which I'm like, all right, that's cool. But they really thought the X Men was going to come from this, and I'm like, do you know how much heavy lifting is involved to even bring the X Men in because of this movie? Like, nah. Man, people thought Wolverine was going to show up, or Omega Red was going to show up in Falcon and the Winter Soldier because <laughs> they went to uh, Magic Magic War. Like, so, so, like, you know, so you see that old man in the background? See, that's Logan. I'm like, that's no, Pat, Patch, right? I do think that the, this movie is going to bring in the x-men but not in the way that people think because now that steven is aware of a professor x i think that i think that he's the gateway perhaps you know three four movies from now you know hey i knew a guy or i met a guy or you know i met this guy that was fucking powerful i didn't a telepath or whatever the fuck but i i don't think they just included professor x to conclude professor x and then you know, like they're going to bring him in in a way that's completely unrelated to Strange. I think that this was like them just kind of cracking the window. Yeah. Right. And being like, all right, well, at some point, Strange will be the one to reference, um, you know, Professor X, because obviously this Professor X trusted Strange enough to tell him about the Darkhold and everything. So I do think this movie does do that, but people were thinking like the fucking X-Men were going to show up, you know. <laughs> it, which, it's like, yeah. <laughs> pop up out of nowhere. I'm like, all right, I guess, Hero, guys. Hero pose. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's, it's it, you know, to be, uh, to be honest, like I thought it was, was kind of interesting too because we forget 
we don't know what's up with Mordo now in in our proper universe because number one, we don't know if he got dusted along with everybody else. I know he's got them braids. Well, no, that's alternate dimension, Mordo. That has braids. Like, God damn, I was like, shit, man, it was good. I mean, it ain't bad. Look, I I cracked my joke on IG. I'm like, so they just gave Mordo and Tyler Bra- Tyler Perry wig. All right, sure. Um, but nah, Mordo, like in our universe, I'm like, he's still out here collecting magic and just kind of chilling. So was Mordo collecting magic for himself or just getting rid of it in general? I think he was, it looked like he was just collecting magic because he said it was like too many magicians or some shit. But like I said, we don't know what he's been doing during those five years. And it's good to know that even alternate dimension Mordo is a dick in his dimension too. So, cause when he, I was not expecting him to poison strange in America. And I was like, Oh, he poisoned him. Of course he did. Of course. Uh, more Mordo's going to Mordo. <laughs> it's like strange. My friend, ah, you're feeling sleepy. What? <laughs> when he did that, I was like, don't drink the fucking tea. Come on, man. That's just like one Oh one shit. <laughs> He's not drinking tea. <laughs> like, yeah, exactly. Like now, fuck that. We all drink from this. Uh, the, oh, dude, but like the the more that I think about it, like I, I again, like I liked it and I enjoyed it a lot. I certainly enjoyed it more than Eternals. But it I mean, just not a hard bar to yeah. go over. Dude, that movie's fucking terrible. <laughs> I like four the times. I see the Why? four times, and I'm seeing. I'm. St- it's like I. I think after my second viewing, it's like okay, I understand wholeheartedly why people felt it was boring. Why did you? Why did you see it four fucking times? I don't know. It's just it, four times. But let me illustrate that. The third and fourth time, I was skipping certain scenes, so it was more okay. like I was speed watching it. I saw it three times, right? But not really. Cause why? <laughs> Hear me out. Hear me out. I fell asleep the first time. The second time, I actually turned my back on it and was doing schoolwork. And then I ended up looking up how to beat um, uh, the Maestro in the Hawkeye DLC on YouTube. Movie was still playing. I wasn't paying attention to it. I just really wanted to know how to beat the Maestro because that I, part. I, st- was- I, st- I still would rather watch Eternals than play that Mar- that, that Avengers game again. To be honest with you. <laughs> And the DLC games, it's like I would love it, but mm, mm, but mm. all right, so like then I did that, and then the third time, um, I went and picked up uh, my, uh, my girl that I'm seeing now. It's like I went and picked her up, and you forced her to watch that shit. Bad move, oh, dude. No, 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 <laughs> no, she, we were tired, okay. We were tired, and but like we were like talking, she's like, I really need to go to sleep. I was like, Yo, let's just watch this movie. Why would you watch that movie? Because it's gonna put me to sleep. It put me to sleep the first time I watched it. Yeah, so, but it might also make you make her fucking hate you. To be don't don't feel bad. Don't feel bad, Charlie. Yeah, she cause... fell asleep, yo. Like she fell asleep. It <laughs> did it did what it was supposed to do. Don't, don't feel you bad, Charlie. I, I fell asleep years ago, many, many years ago. I fell asleep during Superman Returns in the theater. I feel so horrible for that. I like Oh dude, uh, my my girlfriend <laughs> can fall asleep. <laughs> Under any circumstance, I mean, she, you know, I told you, Chris, like she's she's in the military for twenty years. Yeah, right. And they, they, you know what I mean? Like they, they can sleep under crazy conditions, right? Yeah. She can fall asleep. I swear to God, this is true. She will fall asleep mid sentence, <laughs> or like if you're talking to her, she'll doze off, and you're like, "Damn, are you serious?" And she'll be like, "I think you. I thought you were done." She fell asleep. We saw Spider Man: uh, No Way Home. Mm-hmm. And right where fucking Aunt May's about to die, she dozes off. I look at her. I mean, I'm talking <laughs> head back, mouth open, the whole night. And I nudge her, and I'm like, hey, what are you doing? And she's like, I wasn't asleep. I was thinking. About right? <laughs> yeah. And I was like, bullshit, you were asleep. So whatever. We go see it again two weeks later, and that scene comes up. And she looks at me, and she goes, was this in the last one? <laughs> And I'm like, actually, it's the same fucking movie. And she's like, this, this was, I don't remember this. And I'm like, because you were fucking sleeping. And she just looks at me and puts her head down. And she's like, oh, I guess I was. Like, oh, like I thought I, worth it. What? I, 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 fell, I, I fell asleep during Aquaman. Like, how is that possible? I didn't even fall asleep during Aquaman. It was the, the, um, I fell asleep after the fight with, um, but, uh, Manta. Manta. Black Manta. Yeah, in Italy. Oh, dumb. okay. Well, yeah, it did kind of it did slow up a little bit at that point. I just get up and walk out. <laughs> <laughs> like, like what was that Jordan Peele movie? Us. 
Yeah. Is that I saw the it, us, I legit, I only saw that twice, and it was at two screenings, and I didn't see it in the proper showing. It was like, it's like background noise to me. I didn't enjoy it as much as Get Out, but it was still like, oh, it's a movie. I, I saw it, it once, but... and I was like, that's all I need. That's all the time. <laughs> I, I I, look, I've seen Get Out way more times than us. That tells you all you need to know. And it's like, all right. Like, I, I started to kind of like nod off because I was bored during that movie, and I was like, okay, I can either sit here. And not off. Oh, wow. Wake up. Try to force myself. To just like get the fuck, get up and walk the fuck out. Like, and I, I remember telling Julie, like, let me guess, these are the clones, and these are the da, da, da. walk out. Thirty minutes later, she comes out. I'm like, what happened? These are the clones. These are the da da da. Speaking gotcha. of which, um, were y'all expecting there to see? I, I will say this: it's a slight disappointment for me. I <sighs> wish we saw alternate universes of Wong's. Wait, did you notice Wong's hair change? It's been changing in every movie since the first no, no, film. No, no, no. I'm talking like like when they're in uh in the little temple or whatever with Wanda, right? <laughs> when his hair was trying, longer. Yeah, his fucking dude. When oh he's yeah, th- I think those. That was, I, think, I think that was the reshoots when they did it during the COVID. Dude, when he tried to contain Wanda and he said, "You have to take her power," my yeah. my, my the dude had fucking bangs. And then you know, two seconds later, he's got more of that like buzzed head kind of look. Yeah. And it, I, I and I and I look over and I'm like, did he just have longer hair, or am I crazy? And I then like, it, I, yeah, I think it's the reshoots because I think they did film this movie during like the latter half of COVID. I think. Not only that, but you can tell certain moments where fucking um, Benedict Cumberbatch is wearing a wig. Yeah. Like yeah. there are certain moments where it looks more natural, like even the mm-hmm. goatee. And then there's certain moments where you're like, that's a wig, man. That's like a Defender, wig. And that's... Like Defender Strange looks really good naturally. And I think when I think which which version of Strange was it? Was it the uh Evil Strange? Was it Evil Strange? Yeah. Sinister it Strange. Different? Yeah, Sinister Strange. It looked a little different. I'm like, okay. All right, I see what you're doing. Yeah, so, but yeah. Wong's hair changed like from scene to scene, which I thought was really weird. Um Hey, you ain't and, lying though. The, you ain't lying though. That necro cape was looking. Oh, dude, that, that was. was she was dope as hell. <laughs> that shit was dope. When they that, were fucking with him, and she's like, you know, whatever. What did you? What? Did, there were some cheesy ass lines, but when she was like, you know, the fucking control the dead or some shit like that, yeah. and I was like, oh my god, if he fucking controls an army of the dead. Like, just I was like, just put ash in this fucking room. Just, just yo, know, just the visuals of Necro Strange coming out the grave was like dope as shit. Doing that thriller shit. Yeah. <laughs> See, I didn't want to say thriller, but you're right. <laughs> he, was doing that, he was doing that thriller pop and lock. And it's like, I do, it, the weird part was, like, I knew it was going to circle back to that as soon as he put the, the, the dead strange into the grave. I was like, that's going to circle back to that. Like, it's, it has to. Like, you don't just throw him in there and it's like whatever and stuff. But I thought that was. And the thing of it is, I wasn't expecting uh, there to be like a downside to him using the dark hold until they showed it at the end. I was like, Oh, so we're getting because I think even in the comics, at one point, Doctor Strange does use something where he has a third eye, I believe. Yeah. So, yeah. I, so you should add Shaggy on because he's like the Doctor. Yeah, Strange. it was yeah because it was like right after Secret Wars, he had already. Yeah, because he had he basically, in order to find a way to get pushed back one of the incursions, he sold his soul in order to fight back an incursion. Mm-hmm. And I was like, okay, so you sold your soul, and now you're kind of sort of evil, but not evil. So it's like, huh, interesting. Yeah, it, it like the more I talk, like I would go to see it again just for that that uh, that um, Defender Strange, the zombie thing. That, I mean, that was fucking cool. The man. visuals was just like, holy shit! Like, and even that awesome. chunk of flesh missing from his cheek. Like, first of all, I was like, God damn, he he decomposed fast, but like it didn't look cheap you know what i mean it didn't look like chintzy ass walking dead zombie makeup it looked like all right like Like season eight of walking dead it's like oh so we have cgi now huh all right it just it i i i I, to me that was a very sam raimi thing to do oh you know there was practical effects for those scenes easily you you had and i don't think that anybody else could have pulled i'm sure they could have done their version of whatnot but like i'm curious on derrickson i'm curious on derrickson's like treatment of it before they switched over to Raimi for it. I would like to know what they disagreed about. Hmm. You know what I mean? Like what what caused his exit and like what made him leave? Like what was it? Was it a certain scene? Was it the tone? Was it 
you know, I whatever. Maybe, I guess maybe he wanted to do like a direct sequel. <clears throat> but this this is a direct enough sequel. I mean, well, direct sequel in like, the sense, yeah, yeah, like I guess, serious. direct sequel in the sense of like, I guess he wanted to attack, like continue off of the last movie in a sense. Mm-hmm. I guess I saw, that's my assumption. That's my assumption at least. Like he wanted to do that, and I guess they're like, no, nah, we're going to go in this direction with the multiverse and Wanda, and it's like, all right, well, it's kind of like how Edgar Wright when he was on Ant Man originally during Phase One, and then they made the decision, you know what? Let's make Iron Man the first movie, and then they realize uh, Edgar Wright's sensibilities for Ant Man wasn't matching the tone of what the MCU was. Right. So that's probably what it was. I mean, it happens. I mean, that's why Patty Jenkins left like Thor: Dark World because they had a disagreement on directions. It happens, you know. So. Yeah, I, I would. I would like to know, like, what. Because I like, I, I really like the first Doctor Strange. I thought I fucking love that movie, and this one tonally is a little bit different, mm-hmm. but it's not. I mean, it's it's not bad, but it's just yeah. kind of like to me. It's. I think you might be right because maybe he wanted to do a direct sequel, but they're like, look, all this shit has happened in between, you know, mm-hmm. like WandaVision and whatever else. So we can't, you know, we can't do. A direct direct we have to kind of you know play with everything that's been um put out there since you know since the first one because the first one was like shit was it like five years ago yeah 2016 no yeah. did 2016 it come out yeah, yeah 2016 came out so about seven yeah seven years yeah just about. yeah i know it's <laughs> that was that was was that phase two or phase three I don't yeah, know, that was, was phase three. three. Yeah, 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 that was phase three. Yeah, that was phase three. Meanwhile, was... Spider Man, they're like, fuck that every other year. Come on. <laughs> let's go. Let's get this over with. Just just yep. push it out. Let's go. Let's go. I mean, it's I would say this though. I think the thing about the Clea cutscene that was interesting is that I forget that she has some sort she has a direct relation to Dormammu. And I'm like, Isn't she his sister? Wait, isn't yeah, she? Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm like, so are we gonna get like the flame head Dormammu this time? How much how much you want to bet? Calling us right now because you know Benedict Cumberbatch voiced Dormammu, mm-hmm. right? You know who was supposed to be the original voice? Who? Tony Todd. Get the fuck out of here. Yup. Oh, that's right. He's still alive, ain't he? Yeah. Dude, how, how dare you? I, yo, look, I hey, I got corrected when we did the Candyman review, and I think Ares was like, "No, nah, Tony Todd's still alive." I was like, "Why the fuck did I Dude, think he, he was dead?" Scareglow <laughs> in fucking Masters of the Universe. I know that's what fucked me up because I was like, "Why did I think he was dead for some weird reason?" I don't understand this. It's you should just... smack yourself. Uh, I ain't gonna smack myself, but I do feel dumb. You sh- you, you should because. <laughs> But anyways, like kill how much Tony you, Todd. Yeah. If they get Tony, if they get Tony Todd as Dormammu, that would be like insane. Dude, he did fucking scare glow. Like when they said that, I was like, oh my god! Like the that Lord voice. of the, the Lord of the, what was he like? The Lord of Fear, the King of Fear. Anyways, yeah, him, him and Keith David had that voice that's like, oh, you know, you know what time it is. Bring his ass into these movies too. Yeah, uh, look, look, look. They got yeah, they, they, they have them on tap for doing voices in various Marvel cartoons, so you know it's coming. I don't know how, but it's coming. Is he uh I haven't seen the whole thing, but like I don't know if you guys watch the Halo show, but is he in that? Is he doing any voices? They allegedly said he might be voicing Arbiter at some point, but they haven't shown it yet. If he's not, I'm not gonna watch it. But um I mean, yeah. with with Dormammu, how much do you want to bet? Okay, I'm making one of my predictions. When they show him, if they show him, mm-hmm. he'll be a strange variant. Mm. That would be wild. I mean, does he still keep the same comic look, but just strange variant? Sure, but like they'll they'll you'll you'll come to find out, like a flame head, and yeah, like he transforms that he's mm. a strange variant mm. because now that we've got Kang <laughs> and all the variants and shit like that, like. I like Jonathan Majors a lot too, but when when he showed up in that Loki, I was like, "Motherfucker! Like, if you're not sitting in a chair, you don't have no purple face. Like, you don't have a jumpsuit." Oh, the purple face and all that stuff is definitely coming. I, I was like, Ant Man, right? Yeah, I was like, yeah. "Okay, I get all the variant shit, and I'm I'm into it, and like it's cool, and you know, blah blah blah." But I was like, "This motherfucker better have a chair, a time. What is it called? A time chair? Some shit like time, that. The time chair. Yeah, give me that shit." But because that 
variant exists now all these other characters like these villains and whatnot i think you're going to see some of them retcon to be variants of you know x y and z i mean i think it's interesting how they came out and said that a lot of the circumstances that happened at the end of loki had a direct connotation to like this movie which makes sense in a way yeah you know it's it's very it's very low-key like i get it ha ha yeah but it's like hmm yeah yeah i wasn't no pun intended on that uh, Double on time, bro. <laughs> don't ask me how uh, yeah yeah uh, but no I, like i think as we said at the top it's they're not in your face with the connections it's one of those well if you've seen loki you get more of a aha moment and even if you didn't watch loki you'll you won't be lost in a way it's like all right well the, the movie just explain those things and that's it right right so, but I mean, they're, they're basically forcing you to get that Disney Plus subscription. Oh, yeah. Which also, going back to Reed Richards, we're getting Council of Reeds. That's happening. <laughs> just I like just, the comics. I just want to see. I just want a room like, full of John Krasinski's as Reed Richards variants. That's all I, I want. I just want a good Fantastic Four movie. That's it. We'll get one. We'll get one. And, 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 and don't fuck around and try to give me Doom. Give me don't the get, yeah, don't, don't don't yeah, don't even give me do just get give me Victor Vaughn before the mask and shit. Just like just just the tease it, but don't show it. And don't make him like a fucking American from a, an exchange student who somehow lost his accent. What if they and, made uh was it uh what was the dude that was the uh who was who was the villain villain in the first Doctor Strange movie? Um the uh, villain of the first Doctor yeah, Strange? Yeah, Matt, it was, somebody said Mads Mikkelsen. Mikkelsen Matt yeah. Mikkelsen would have been a dope-ass Doom. I'll, I'll do it. Take it. I'll take it. Oh, shit. I would have hey, loved they, Mads, Mads hey, Mikkelsen. Hey, look, they could double down on it. I mean, they, it, it could happen. Hey, look, Cottonmouth is Blade now, so they can, they can do it. They can do it again. <laughs> yeah, oh they did. God. Yeah. Michelle Yao double dip. She was in Guardians as one of the OG Guardians, and they was like, all right, we're going to put you in Shang-Chi, too. So. What's her face? Gemma Chan. She was yep. in... Uh... Um, Captain Marvel, and then Captain Marvel, and she, yeah, and then she's Cersei. I mean, fucking. Oh shit! You're right. <laughs> Jim, you know why? I think they paid. They paid attention to the fact that I was like, I don't think anybody paid attention to Captain Marvel enough to notice that was Jim a Chan. So they was like, all right, fucking make her Cersei's. Nobody's gonna notice. And uh, and um, Black Mariah. Yeah, Alpha. Yeah. Alpha, yeah, she was. She yep. was. Uh, <laughs> she was about. She, she was. Uh, what's her face's mom in Civil War? That's right. Yeah, she was Black Mariah. That's why I laughed. I was like, "How can Blade? How can it make Cottonmouth Blade?" I'm like, "They got the multiverse excuse at this point, so or not because, because or not because, because he's because they fucking can. yeah, because he's Mahershala Ali. Also, they can just you know make him ball Blade, and nobody's gonna fucking know the difference, you know. Oh, dude, I cannot fucking wait to see him as Blade. Look, after, I just want to see what he looks like. After seeing this movie, I'm That's glad. That, I'm I'm glad it shut everybody up about Blade because it was like Blade needs to be rated R. I'm like, if you saw what they did to Doctor Strange, they can do it, no problem. Would you be all excited if they gave him that flat top with that fade? I mean, you can't go wrong with any version of Blade. To be honest with you, as long as it's not like 1970s Blade with the oh, with, with the, the green pop shirt, color, <laughs> the, <pop colors. laughs> with the green the shirt and the glasses. Yeah, the goggles. I'm like, as long as you don't give me 1970s Blade, I'm fine with it. I mean, granted, I know they're gonna find some goofy way to put that shit in the movie somehow. I don't know how they're gonna do it. They're gonna throw it in there, and we're gonna be like, all right, I guess. You know, do you think they are, are this for years? <laughs> do you think they are kind of gearing up for a Midnight Suns? I mean, they put them in. They put them at the end of Eternals as the voice, so you already know the deal. So you think it'll be him, Moon Knight, Black um, Knight, Black Knight, and Ghost, uh, Ghost Rider? Because supposedly, supposedly, fuck, supposedly, Feige actually did like Old Boy from Agents of Shield as Ghost Rider. He's so, cool. So they might end up using him. He was better Ghost than Rider. that busted ass Terminator he played. <laughs> I mean, a broke ass Terminator. I mean, yeah. I mean, so I mean, look. Hey, look. After Feige, put, after after they put in Matt Murdock and Kingpin and Hawkeye, I'm like, you know what? Clearly, they see some vision of some of those those Marvel TV guy people. So, look, man. Are are, are we gonna stop fucking around and bring Frank back? Hey, hey, oh, John, fuck. John, hey, John Berthold is sitting out there like, "Hey, Marvel hasn't called me." I'm like, "Bullshit! They called you. You just ain't saying shit." 
I don't know how the fuck you don't make him rated R, though. <laughs> Good luck with that. I mean, look. Hey, he popped fact- the dude's eyes out of his fucking head in the first season. Hey, hey, it's, hey, it's on Disney Plus now. <laughs> no, but I'm saying, like, how do you... <laughs> How do you not make the Punisher rated R? I mean, Jesus Christ. Like, is he going to use non lethal rounds? I mean, unless you show the cutaways after he shoots people and it's just like, so no blood. And none of that bullshit ass redesigned skull that he has with the fucking dragon. I kind of like it, even though it's like, well, he's working for the hand, I guess. Fine. Well, he, my, my question is this like, they, they go, oh, we have to get away from the Punisher skull because. Basically, the How fucking the cops, the, the cops, like you know, well, the cops it. and like all these like fucking Trump lunatics and shit like that. Okay, so what happens if they use this new one too? Then we just keep changing it. Well, it's a fucking skull. To be fair, uh, to be fair, a lot of them, those guys don't like the new one, so I guess that's the deterrent. But what? But my what I'm saying is like it's a skull. Just don't use that skull. Like, yeah, that's all. You just don't use the blue one, the blue line. You know, the blue line one. Just use the regular like, white one. Use. I mean, I could draw you a skull 20 different ways off the top of my head. <laughs> it's not hard. Yeah, so like, okay, so they've adapted the the one from the Thomas Jane movies. That's the, to- that's the Thomas Jane Punisher skull, right? Okay, so then just don't use that one. Use a different, like, version of a skull. Use a more stylized skull or whatever. I mean, there have been versions where, like, the, um, you know, the... the, the um, hit the extra ammo on his belt made up the teeth mm-hmm. and shit like that. Or like, if you look at his, um, his tactical vest from the show, you can clearly see the eyes and the shape. That's yeah. why he paints over it. Like it, it's kind of like, it's like daredevil. He doesn't need a fucking D on his chest. <laughs> DDs. First of all, <laughs> no, daredevil, is. Darede- daredevil's one word. It's not fucking two words. <laughs> Hold up. I'm trying to remember. Hold the, didn't the Netflix series take away the DD? Yes. Yeah, yeah, about to say because I was like Ben Affleck is the only one they put the DD on. I was like, dude, uh, the motherfucker has horns. <laughs> I mean, you gonna give him a tail next? <laughs> hey, hey, look, look, look. I'll say this. I know we we did talk about her enough. Um, the America Chavez in this movie is better than how they write her in her solo comic, and I'm happy for that. I've never read her solo comic. I think she was great. I don't understand how a bee scared her that much to punch a hole through the universe. <laughs> I mean, like, she was a kid, I guess. It's like, ah, oh, bee. Look, yeah, but I'm like, damn. I'm, I, look, bees, I don't really like them, but I don't get that scared. But I'm not getting that scared to get my parents sucked into somewhere else. <laughs> and, 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 and then they're gone forever, all right? Like, yeah, like you think, killed your parents because a bee scared you. Well, I mean, strange. I did like he gave her the optimism. Oh, they could be in some other multiverse. Right, but I mean, like, you, you know? made them go away because of a bee. I, like I it's a be, little bit overreacting. I gotta be honest with you. I am kind of scared of the multiverse where they're all like splashes of paint. That is kind of scary a little bit. Like that she was like, yeah, it's kind of hard to move around and do stuff. And <laughs> <laughs> hey, the cartoon one had me in tears though. I was like, really? All right. It looked, it looked like the old style cartoon too. Yeah, the, the old <laughs> old style cartoons. I'm like, all right, cool. I know a lot of people didn't like America being like the the young upstart instead of like her teeny her older version from the comics, Why? but because it followed I, the the trope of oh the young God. kid that can't wield her powers and it's a plot device. Yeah, but it also gives that actress. You know, she has years and years and years yeah. to grow into that character. Because you know, I mean, she was do... supposed to be she was supposed to be in Far From Home. No way home, actually. Yeah, I read that. But you know, they're, I mean, they're 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 gearing up for Young Avengers at some point. Exactly, and I think it's like they're gonna move past. They're gonna move forward towards the next generation, right? So mm-hmm. they gotta get like. I want my gotta, ultimates with her on the team. Just saying. You got you, you got you got America Chavez. You got um, Eli- Elijah, right? Elijah. Yeah. Elijah, Elijah Bradley, uh, Cassie. which he which he was in um, Falcon Winter Soldier. Yep. Yeah. Cass, older Cassie now, which right. I kind of feel what, bad stature? for. <laughs> yeah, stature. I kind of feel bad for the chicken in game because she was really thinking she was going to be like in the next Ant Man, and it was like, now nah, we're recasting it with somebody else. I'm like, ooh, that sucks. The bitch yeah. they got was forty. Uh, hold on, with hey. Cassie? No, like if you watch the end of that movie, you're like, his daughter aged that much. 
Yeah, I think she aged up to like 16 or something like that. Dude, she's not fucking 16. Hey, hey, look, that's what, hey, I guess well, she's in real life, I was about to say, in real life, no, she is not, she don't look 16. Like, oh, no, she, she don't look 16 at all. Fuck no. She don't. But that's what I'm saying. So if you have the, the girl that orange. plays. The girl that's uh, Cassie in the new movie, she definitely looks like a Disney Channel teenager kid. If you have the girl that's playing America Chavez, let's say she's 15, 16, whatever, right? Yeah. But she looks her age. I'd rather that than have a 35. Like, if you watch Toby and Spider Man. Oh my like, God. Dude, <laughs> man. That grown ass man. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Flash Thompson looking like a fucking, he used to be in college already, beating the shell. I'm like, what? but then again, it's like, you, you, if you really think about it, think about that time period and how the media portray teenagers because you look at like i know what you did last summer it's like oh you know i are like 20 year olds playing teenagers 20 like, what are we? <laughs> like 30 yeah i think yeah it wasn't like was it freddie prince like close to 30 when mm-hmm. he did those movies yeah. dude he was like 35 when he did scooby-doo yeah i know right <laughs> playing old ass fred <laughs> Like, don't don't lie to me, all right? <laughs> I'm like Andrew now. Gar, like lying. Andrew Garfield, supposedly was thirty when he did those, but I'm like Andrew Garfield has a very young face, so I. But didn't if you lie. see him now, like <laughs> like he's in that show um, on Hulu, I, we were trying to watch it. Like he he's he looks older. He looks, yeah, he looks his age now. So so if but but it, it makes sense because of like the Peter Parker that he portrayed in the last movie where he was kind of, you know, he lost and he was beating the shit out of people and this and this and that. Yeah. He's not going to go back and play 16 year old Peter Parker. He'd be in his oh, mid, no. you know, early thirties. Toby's clearly in his mid forties. Like they, they look accurate to the versions they're portraying. Like when Tom Holland first played Peter Parker, his fucking voice cracked. It was perfect. Oh, you're, you're right. That chick that played uh, Cassie in the movie. Yeah. She was in her mid twenties. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. 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 You got, you definitely need to get like trying to pull that. Saved by the bell shit with me. <laughs> hey, hey, I thought she was young too. And I was like, oh, she was in the mid 20s. Damn, never mind. Never mind. They're having a midlife crisis while playing a 16 year old. Exactly. Hell on. <laughs> I don't know. This is funny. Everybody was all like, why did they recast her? And I was like, I don't know. Maybe because they wanted somebody younger, I guess. I, you know, and I mean, even Wanda's fictional kids, you know, they're going to find some way to bring them, bring them in real life in some dumb way. They're going to age them up. They gotta be Wiccan and uh Wiccan and uh Hawkling. No, no it's uh Hulk. it's the speed the speed one. The, oh uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um uh speed yeah, speed and uh Wiccan. Yeah. Yeah. So they'll age him up. They'll bring him into the real world, they'll age him up, and then they'll it's do like Wanda, your kids are real now. But they hate you. <laughs> they hate you now. Because <laughs> you didn't try to kill their real mom. Mm-hmm. And, and then now you have to bring in uh also uh Iron Lad, who's gonna probably be like a young black kid. See, I think they're just going to do Riri Williams. You think so? Yeah. Because yeah. I know that yeah. they, they, they announced that Iron Heart series at some point, and I think yeah. she'll just serve as the Iron Man. And Miss Marvel. So, yeah, there you go. Because Miss Marvel's Marvel. next month, right? Yeah. Yep. Yep. That looks like, good. Right at the end of uh, Obi Wan. Yeah, they really Obi-Wan's are. This it, month? Yeah. Yeah. yeah in this month. month. More Day weekend. Two episodes. First two episodes dropping. And they said that the lightsaber battles are not going to be like the new trilogy. They're going to be like the prequel trilogy. I mean, the new trilogy fights were not bad. Don't don't do that. Don't do that. Don't lie. I mean, we're an honest podcast. I I know. There was some good (laughs) shit. (laughs) Not a lot, but there was some good shit. I mean, there was some good moments, even though Quarter Crew kind of exposed that shit in Last Jedi a little bit. You know, it's like, yeah. Yeah, I like what this movie set up. I mean, like, like, like uh, he was I saying know, earlier, I just I like what it sets up, yeah. And I maybe a little bit more than the movie itself. I mean, look, Wanda crashing and killing all the uh, all the all the um, dark holds. I'm like, so what's the Agatha show going to be about? She going to be like sad that the dark holds are gone now? Like, kind of get her power from somewhere else. Yeah, tap into some uh, dark dimension. Maybe they'll finally give everybody Mephisto so they can stop talking about it. <laughs> I swear, to, I swear to God, that was the funniest shit ever. Where's Mephisto coming? I'm like, I don't think that, Wanda's that Mephisto. Now leave me alone. <laughs> I'm gonna laugh my ass off. We finally get Mephisto, and it's gonna be in the most unlikeliest of fucking movies. And it's like Black Panther. <laughs> <coughs> yeah. 
Yo, yo, that's gonna be the worst. That's gonna be the best kept secret. It's like, yeah, surprise. Uh, the villain is Mephisto. It's like, huh? <laughs> yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, I, Denzel, I, Denzel is Mephisto, and it's like, what? <laughs> I'd be so pissed off. Like, you wait for on that shit. Hey, hey, look, look. If Mephisto is like throwing out Denzel bars, I'm there. <laughs> Billion dollars already. Or just get Jay Farrow to impersonate him. That that is true. That is true. Can you do Denzel doing Mephisto? Yeah, yeah, yeah I got it. Yeah, yeah, cool, cool. No cool. problem. No problem. <laughs> How much is the check? All right, cool. Can you pay like Denzel? No. All right, that's fine. Absolutely uh, not. <laughs> uh, also, also, I need Marvel Studios to go ahead and cut John Jonathan Hitman a check immediately, like because they were cribbing so much of his stuff in this movie. Hmm. So it's just an incursion. I'm like, and there's a Hickman check right there. Mm-hmm. It's it's like when DC always talks about a crisis. I'm like, oh god damn it! <laughs> but, but like, because like, it's dark like crisis a, is happening right now, guys. Like because it's like always like in theory, it's a good idea until but you remember what that leads to. Y'all about to reboot every goddamn thing, aren't you? But here's the weird part. It's like, but your TV side did. The crisis before your movie side, so. Well, the the movie side's doing a flashpoint, so. Oh, no, no, it's Batman, guys. It's not the flashpoint. What are you talking about? <laughs> they need to reboot <laughs> fucking Ezra Miller's punk ass. Hey, hey, I was so mad at that rumor about old boy Tate replacing them. I was like, what? Oh, fuck that guy, man. Or whatever. Uh, they. Dylan O'Brien. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm talking about Ezra Miller. Fuck him. I mean, he, they, he can they, go. They, they, they're clearly going through it, but I'm just laughing that it's a Batman movie now, and I'm like, so it's not the Flash movie, huh? Wait, what? Just call it Batman Flashpoint. That's all it is. I mean, because no, because the preview that there's they showed, new, is, there's no. a new the the new Flashpoint in the DC Comics <laughs> that be pretty much Batman. Yeah, said, yeah, it was it's it's dark, it, it, I think it's Dark Flashpoint or some shit like that. It is like Thomas Beyond Wayne. Flashpoint. Like, yeah, Beyond Flashpoint. Beyond Flashpoint. Yeah, Flashpoint Beyond or something. I'm like, so this is just a Batman focused Flashpoint. All right, cool. I guess. Everything is Batman. I mean, you know, but um, yeah, I'm I'm I am loving the fact that we are kind of in the dark on Phase Four in a way, and I'm like, you know what? Keep this going. I don't mm-hmm. I don't want no shit. Just 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 troll people. Just, just mm-hmm. keep I, mean, people. I mean, Kevin Feige even said he's like, yo, that that he's like, End Game was it. That's that. That's that's it for the Avengers. He literally oh, just said, yeah. He literally no, just I, said, which is bullshit because he literally just said, yeah, we're going on a retreat. Going. He's putting in, he's, he's putting them on ice for a while. I think that's what it is. I don't or think that they're... team, yeah. We're, we're yeah. gonna get a we're gonna get we'll a get Sam, we're, we're gonna get a Sam Wilson and Jane Foster led Avenger squad, and folks are gonna eat it up. Yep, and that's that. I mean, I'm there. I'm there for it. But, but that's that's all it takes. Just just give me Sam Wilson saying Avengers Assemble done. So I'm all, look. I'm already look. They already ramping up Thor Love and Thunder prom- promotions. So. At this what? point, you know, and Love and Thunder comes out soon, right? Uh, July, yeah, yeah July, July like eighth or something. Which, like I said, that's like perfect timing for Comic Con because you know that Hall H this year is going to be ridiculous. They're doing Comic Con for sure. Yep, they're okay. doing they're doing they're doing it this year, and he already announced at Cinema Con they're going on a they already at a Marvel retreat to plot out future. And I mean, everybody's already predicting Secret Wars, which I'm like, yeah, but. I don't know if it's going to be the Secret Wars you think it is. So, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm so I'm I'm looking forward to what this what MCU Secret Wars is because it could be the most low stakes Secret Wars that's not as high octane and it could be good story wise. And I don't need it to be like the book. I would just read a fucking book. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, just just give me like I love the Spider Man animated series, the '90s one when they did Secret Wars because it was very like low stakes. In a way, because they didn't have like a big blowout of like all the superheroes. It was just like, oh, the Fantastic Four, Iron Man, Captain America, and what was it Storm? Because they couldn't get the rights to the other X Men, and that was it. And I was like, all right, that's fine. Just, just keep e- that. Even in uh, uh, Civil War, you know what I'm saying? The Civil War, the movie, it was in uh, like so blown out with everybody affected. It was just more like the Avengers are affected and yeah, everybody Avengers. else. <laughs> Yeah, and then it's just like, yeah, pick a side, man. <laughs> I mean, so I like I said, if anything, She Hawk is the one that I'm still kind of like, what's that show going to really look like? That come out this year too, right? I believe so. Later this year. Yeah, so it's it's kind of we just in the dark. We just along for the, 
we, um, we, we are in an we are in an Uber, and the the Uber driver is not telling us where we're going. It's like I put it in oh. the uh, I put it in the uh, map, but um, he's like, trust me. Lot. He's like, trust me. We're, we're going the right way. That's all I say. Trust me. We're going the right way. And you're like, all right, man. I'm gonna trust you. Hey, look, look if, I, if I see Mike Coulter pop up as Luke Cage, that's gonna be the one that's gonna have me rolling so much because everybody does not want him back as Luke Cage. And I'm like, ah, I get it, but if they find a way, that'd be cool. That it's would be, be cool. It was because he wasn't even the main focus in his own show. I mean, they said Jessica Jones is supposed to pop up in uh, She Hulk. That's the rumor, too. We'll see. So, theories abound. Theories abound. I don't so, need Jessica Jones back. <laughs> you don't want drunk, I drink whiskey Jessica Jones back? Dude, that character I, is so fucking unlikable. <laughs> she drunk, she don't shower. <laughs> she don't Where, wear where's, where's, the same pair, where's the same wear a pair of pants? I mean, just like the comics, guys. You know, it's great. Nah, it's she, can, she can go. <laughs> <laughs> I did not. Like, the first season was okay. I don't think is there how many hey look 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 just, look I'm gonna I tell you this much there was three seasons and that and it's oh, I'm it's gonna tell you this, CJ I'm <laughs> gonna tell you this much season two and three I need everybody to start apologizing to people that to apologize until season two of Luke Cage because season two of Luke Cage beats the shit out of season two or three of Jessica Jones easily. Oh my god, because oh, season, season two of Jessica Jones is like these are the worst people ever. Nobody's likable anymore. Nobody is likable. Like I at honestly, all. <laughs> I, I I think I stopped halfway through two, and then I I honestly I don't think I knew there was a season three until he told me. Season two was literally like, oh, Jessica's mom is crazy and has superpowers, and then season three was her friend. Everybody is everybody is trash, and her friend is Wildcat, and she's gone crazy with power. And I'm like, did they actually turn her into Wildcat? She yeah. Wears the suit. yeah, she wears a suit and she has the powers and all that stuff. So, oh, fuck, I don't care. <laughs> yeah, you, trust it, me, it, it's it's not worth going through all that just to see it either. It's like, like yeah. I'm I'm telling you the re the reason why I knew about it and it was like, well, I let me watch it because I don't did I watch it? I was trying to figure it out, which I found out I was like three episodes in. It was because of CJ. Like I, he, you remember like on Facebook you mentioned it. I rewatched like, when they when those when those shows pop, three seasons when those shows popped up on Disney Plus. I was like, you know what? Because I'm working from home, I was like, you know what? I got time. I could watch some of these shows while I'm at you know while I'm doing my work. And I went through Luke K season one and two, and I'm like, you know what? Season one and two ain't bad as everybody made it out to be initially. And then I got to like season one of Jessica Jones. That was still good. And then I got to season two and three, and I'm like, these, 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 this season, these two seasons are horrible. It's horrible. Like it Dude, really I've is been bad. I've home for fucking thirteen years, and I still won't watch that shit. Like, like season one of Iron Fist is still bad, but it's better than season two of Jessica Jones easily. You know? Damn. D- yeah. yeah, that that's how bad it is. It's like, ooh. And then I watch I watched season two of Iron Fist, and I was still like, holds up, still good. I was like, I still. I fuck with Davos heavy, bruh. <laughs> Davos and yo, Davos and, and, Colleen. And, and, and Colleen and um and um a Typhoid Mary, yeah. But and like both they, Punisher season two, one and two is still good. It's still, yeah, I, lo- it's still I, lo- good. I love Punisher season one and two. We're watching um, so Julie finished, she got really into Daredevil, so we're finishing Dare. We finished Daredevil season two, we finished Punisher season one, and then now we're going to start. Daredevil season three. I lo- oh, I love Punisher season, season two. Yeah. Defenders is definitely skippable. I-, I watched that and I was like, this doesn't yet this never needed to happen at all. Yeah, yeah. I-, I totally like, yeah, there's, <laughs> there's, there's, there's some ideas. There, there's there's some there's some good there's some good ideas there, but it easily could have been Iron Fist season one in a backdoor pilot way instead of just a whole eight episodes of nothing. They ad libbed that whole show, like story wise, <laughs> they ad libbed that. They're like, look, man, we're just gonna work as we go. We'll figure I, it out. I hope, I hope we'll the check was good. Out post. <laughs> I hope the check was good, guys. Because, dear God, that look, yeah. Season yeah. three of Dare, Daredevil, I loved. Uh, Tad, one of my favorite, I look my, my favorite Marvel villains. I just to this day, I was not expecting Bullseye to be the way he was until they showed that episode where he saved fucking Fisk, and I was oh, like, yeah. oh shit, that's Bullseye. God damn. His man ran out of bullets, took the gun apart, and threw it at everyone. 
See, now I want to go back because we're supposed to start watching it, I don't know, maybe tonight or tomorrow or something. And now I'm like, fuck, I want to go watch it again. Bruh, bruh. I was like, you know what? Fuck that Colin Farrell bullseye shit on his head. I need that shit in the MCU. Like, yo, put him on the put him on the Thunderbolts and it's a wrap. Cause even when he wasn't even he wasn't even aiming at people, but like he knew where to aim and just the trajectory, just like killing them, <laughs> killing everybody. Uh, and scary. Like, and he was like, yo, yo. We give up. We surrender. He just took the gun apart. Look, just look, threw the pieces of the put, gun at him. If they put him in that Echo show, ten out of ten, easily. But, but I want him to. But like he kept getting his ass whipped by Daredevil, and that's what. Yeah, it, it had to happen because it's like that's the only way it's gonna work. But granted, he did work him over in the police state in the in the news station. I will give him that. Kinda. Like when he when he when he started throwing shit at him, <laughs> he throwing shit. At him. Yeah, because when, when they was when they was fighting, your daredevil was beating the dog shit out of him until he was like, "Man, fuck this!" He threw him over the desk, and it was like, "Oh shit, he has some in his hands. Run!" <laughs> like, and he tried to jump over the desk, and he threw the fire extinguisher at his chest. <laughs> and then he threw the baseball off the wall, hit him in the face. It's like this guy is the gay greatest keeper. Look, he would be a dope Mister X easily. Yeah. So like, yeah, he, like, look, look. If they find a way to look, if you told me he was like fucking it has the to next, be him. if he was Taskmaster, that would be another way to kind of make him Taskmaster too, just to kind of wash away the taste of Taskmaster and Black Widow a little bit. Mm, we don't talk about that. Yeah. Yeah. But, but. Man, see, like, I need the, I need the Russian Guardians in real life. That's all I need. Russian Guardians, and and I, I need that in my life. Like I, I did like the um, like what? Well, yeah, what you were saying about Echo. Like, if they did bring Bullseye and Echo, it has to be the same actor. Yeah, they got to. I mean, they that look. We already know Matt Murdock is in the MCU at this point. Now it's just like, yeah, are they going to keep his costume from the show, or are they going to fully revamp it and put him in like the red onesie? You know, so Mm-mm. theories abound. Theories abound. Yeah. Theories abound. So, uh, but yeah, I guess that's it for this uh, Doctor Strange episode. I need to get y'all back on for uh, Moon Knight because, yeah, yeah, because yeah. right. I, re- you know what, Moon Knight actually to me worked better when I actually binged it all six episodes in one hit. I kind of that. Yeah, I wish they had an option on Disney Plus to where you could watch it kind of like a movie. Because watching it all together, it came off way better than waiting. Because I saw the first four episodes, so I had to literally wait for a whole month until they got to episode five and six. And I'm like, oh, I gotta wait a whole month. That's why months. I hear like, oh, I got to watch it. I'm like, yeah, but your ass has got to wait like the rest of us now. Because I was, yo, because I was in enga- those first four episodes. It's engaging because you're. I was watching all four episodes in one hit, and I was like, you could have just gave us all six episodes, and I could really been like, yo, this show is dope, but. You just give people the first four and be like, write a review. And I'm like, I can't do a review on this. Like, it's impossible. Mm-hmm. So, but yeah, let me know. All right. So, um, that in mind, uh, catch you guys later. Peace. All right. See you later, guys. Benny, huh?